we go. Yeah. They say I walk like a king, talk like a king. You can act around now, say the same thing. They chasing the fame, they all want the name. The thing got was running through these veins. Say I walk like a king, talk like a king. You can act around now, say the same thing. They chasing the fame, they all want the name. The thing got was running through these veins. Make way for the king. Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the canceled show. Bienvenidos, mi gente. I'm your host, Rashad Dyson. What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Manny. Manny from the Black. We are here live. Shout out to Big Dookies on the, the ones Big and Dukes twos. with us. Yo. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So much energy. So much it. energy. So much energy. Today is episode 16. Oh, man. Toxic. Let's be specific though, male or female? Both. Uh, also, there's nothing wrong with going both ways. That's right. We're non binary here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. No, we're going to talk about toxic masculinity, toxic femininity, mm. what that is. Let's define it. We're going to talk about red pill, blue pill, black pill, or the plan B pill. I mean, apparently that's what we got to do now because Abbott. Right. Shout out to Abbott? <laughs> right. I don't, I don't, I don't I know. know. Is that right? I don't know. I don't know. So. <laughs> I don't know. So. Thank you more. I don't know. I'm just confused. Right. Uh, we're going to have a, a couple more couple more people come in. We'll have some guests. Tony B. Awesome and my boy George. They'll be here in just a minute. Uh, how was your week, brother? My week was my week was great. Yeah? Yeah, man. Like, like work was great. Um, I had... Uh, had Got in touch with some uh, some some people from the past, and yeah. uh, that worked out pretty good. Damn. Uh, consensual sex. <laughs> yes. uh, consensual? Mm, I mean, yeah. sorry, well, I, I, I assumed. I, so I, I mean, I, I kind of figured. I mean, I didn't really consent, but. I mean, it's consensual. I mean, if you pay for it, right? It's. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. Kind of. He well, paid, so he, does, <laughs> does that count? He paid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know. Oh my God! I mean, only people can hear this. I mean, yeah, man. Hey, shout out to everybody that's listening, man. Let us know how your week went. Uh, actually, we looked at the uh, analytics, and I think uh, Mexico, Canada, uh, Af- South Africa. Shout out to everybody yes. way over there. If you're from outside of the United States, so much love. Thank you so much. Yes. Um, yes. Let us know how your week was. What did you do? Anything crazy? Anything crazy? Sexy? Cool? You know, on um, that. Mm-hmm. You know, on that TLC shit. <laughs> TLC. Oh. So, how was your week, bro? What did you do? <laughs> man, it's been an emotional roller coaster, man. Like, uh, you know, um, I had, uh, I, you know, I guess just family and friends, you know, I guess that passed away. So, I was dealing with that. Mm. But, you know, like I said, um, honestly, I, I got to, I mean, it just makes you appreciate life a little bit more. Yeah. It's, uh, it just shows you that. Life is not guaranteed, man. So make sure you laugh, love, and and live life to the fullest. If you have any, if what I mean by live, do something exciting every day, even if it's not much. You know, do something outside the that you wouldn't be comfortable with outside yeah. your norm, and uh, just make sure you tell people you care for them, bro. Because you don't want to leave this world and then be like, man, did he ever care about me? Give people their roses while they're alive. Yeah, not dead. You know, <laughs> you know don't come up to me, man. He was a great guy. Motherfucker, well, tell you that when he's alive, not when he's gone. Yeah, I would say that if you were. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, well, but other than that, I mean, my shout out to the family. Uh, shout out to the family. I know there they're going. Go. Uh, welcome, welcome. I know they're going through a hard time at this moment, but. Welcome, brother. What's up, Tony B? Um, yeah, I know they're, the family's going through a hard time for the moment, so I want to just show love mm-hmm. and share a little bit of light on that and, and much love. I know they're going through a hard time, so um, my, mom, my, my family, too. We lost another relative. So. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, so, but on that, I mean, we move on. Uh, I actually got the news last week uh, during the show on halftime. Yeah, that was uh, crazy. A lot of people don't know that, but uh, we, the show move goes on, man. The show goes on. Like, like I said, it's just it's like hard. life. It's life. It moves on. But I don't feel bad because I did always say hi to him. I always, you know, every day. Hey, how are you? El Don would want it that way. Yeah. And I know that he wouldn't, I, I feel like he wouldn't want me to be sad, you know. Nah. So, uh, anyways. That's why when I go, throw the biggest party. That's what I was talking about. If I ever, yeah, if I ever die, don't be sad. Live your life to the fullest for both of us. Uh, 
If you're going to do something, do it for both of us. Be great for both of us. Even if you're not rich, be rich in life, you know. Be rich and 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 married, kids, a house. You don't need money to be rich. Mm-hmm. As long as you're happy, do mm-hmm. what, you know. That's right. And just do it for both of us. You know, if I'm not here, same thing if you guys go. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do everything twi- times two. Like I said, if Rashad was to go. Midget strippers, bro. <laughs> Midget strippers. <laughs> Midget no strippers. That's twice what I have. So, Say no more. That's twice what I have. I, th- I think if they're standing on these shoulders, you have to pay double. Yeah. Pay double? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I think that's how that works. Right? I, I thought a little before price was, you know, one. Before you would price. think so, yeah, right? So, but, no. Yeah. No. By the way, so this is our guest, Tony B. Awesome. So, yes. and my uh, boy George, returning champion. Saludos. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tony B. You want to mm-hmm. introduce yourself, man? Let them know who you are. Uh, well, as he said, uh, they they like to call me Tony B. Awesome, even though I don't think that's really my what? my actual name. <laughs> that's, that's well, uh, Rashad is the one who actually came up. Yeah, I did, I did. Yeah. 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 Happy yeah. Happy birthday to you, by the way, my brother. He was Thank just telling so me much. I didn't I believe him. It. It. It's my birthday. <laughs> 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 oh, is it really is? No, it's gonna it's be on Monday. Yeah. Monday yeah. goes. You remember birthday? Or like, <laughs> that got, what? <laughs> yeah. Hey, government, green card, green card, government, green card, all of it. Yeah, exactly. Yep, 10-4. 10 10 4, good buddy. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Appreciate yeah, I've, it. I've known these guys for about eight, nine years now. Mm, so I yeah. met through a mutual friend of mine that I went to high school with. That's crazy, right? That yeah. we yeah, we met you through know. a friend and then me. We're going to have to have him on the show. I was thinking about that the other day, right? I told him to we listen to in. I, I told him I was going to take him as soon as we went on live. Yeah. Shout out to Cloyce. Cloyce, if you're hearing this, man. Where have um, you been at? I know, right? Uh, he's been doing. He's been grinding. He's been I know. Grinding. He's mm-hmm. been working. I know. He's <laughs> he, he's been, he's been proud. Of, you know, proud of what he does, man. I got to talk to him a little bit, and and uh, yeah, no, he's he's a great guy. <laughs> yeah, a great yeah, guy. He's one of my best friends. I've known him since I was fourteen. Yeah, yeah. That's 30, awesome. thirty years. Woo. Thirty. Thirty yeah. years. Yeah. <laughs> We've known each other. I'm sorry. So, yeah. Oh fuck, <laughs> bro. I'm thirty-one, bro. Think about that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Hey, you earned every year, though, right? I sure did. That's what yeah, I'm talking I sure about. Did. Worked hard. That's what I'm talking about. Where I am. Yeah. How, how was your week, man? How was you guys' week? Uh, it's been, uh, thankfully, I've actually had a little bit of reprieve. Work's been uh, busy, but steady. It's been light. Uh, I do IT work for those of you guys who actually do not know, obviously. Uh, been doing it for, been doing it for in, in, the, in the game for 20 years. Uh, IT, I'm doing information security now. So. Oh, that's what's uh, up. It was kind of a hectic week uh actually a hectic early september but it's i, I too in general can be hectic out of nowhere that's Dep- the issue the, it, see the thing about it is it's the environment here yeah mm-hmm. it's not it's not the job mm-hmm. every environment's different yeah so really and 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 the people you work with and thank god most of the people that i work with are pretty awesome my, cu- my customer and my and my company in case so. they're listening He's like, hey, you know. Fuck those guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you really live in hell? Nah. No, I, really I hate so that job. I, I, I work with a lot of good people, uh, mm-hmm. all, all, actually, all across the country. So, oh, that's what's up. So, yeah, I work with people from East Coast, West Coast, Far East Coast. Yeah. Uh, you know, in the Atlantic, you know, all over. Damn. That's what's up. Okay, okay, my guy. Yeah. What about you, Playboy? Man, you know, we roll the same shit different day. What were we doing, Manny? Uh, oh man, you know what? Uh, honestly, me and George. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, we, we've yeah. been working out at four, four, be up at four thirty. Be by five. By five, we out there getting sweating our asses off. We be like burning eight hundred calories according to our watch. Yeah, yeah, so, I'm gonna lie, whatever. yeah just, uh, I'm gonna go with it. I'm but I, I've been, you know what? I'm not gonna lie to you. This whole week, I've been looking in the mirror. I've been like, yo, flexing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 that's Dude, we were just talking about that. He's, I'm gonna be training with him on Sundays. Yeah. So if you want to join us, we're doing yeah, the same thing. Where? Again. At the park. Mm-hmm. Oh man. So I gotta get some. Oh yeah, yeah, my boy George has been getting some kicks in and, and punching, man. He's oh, been learning. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's gonna be ready. That Canelo, man. He's oh, Canelo. Canelo, hey, what's your little bitch? What's your response? Hey, fuck you, motherfucker. Yes. <laughs> yeah, man. For people who don't know, man, um, yeah, all all of us go back way, way together. We go way things. back. Yeah, uh, I know mm-hmm. George since we were. I was I was thirteen, bro. You were like twenty, I think, at the time. Yeah, don't say that. That sounds bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Right. Wait, 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 you were hanging out with thirteen year olds? <laughs> Hold up, R. Kelly. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Nigga, Duke, gave me a weird look. What? what? <laughs> no. I'm, I'm like, exactly. Let me elaborate. That he's, he was my he's my brother's best friend and. 
ended up just coming around. We just becoming like great. I just never left. Fuck yeah, he just <laughs> right? got stuck. Yeah, my motherfucker's family. Right. Yeah, and then yeah. Tony B met him through another friend, and we're doing uh, stunts, fighting, and all yeah. that. Adrenaline fights and stunts. Oh, Bro, oh, that, those were the days. Right. I still want to bring that back, man. I, I honestly want to bring that back. I still need to finish writing the script I'm writing for. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're a writer, right? Oh, you're... shit. Oh, shit. What you writing now? Um, keep, we're keeping it hush-hush. It's uh, just like the... Yeah, we can't tell Chloe's too much. We, we know Cameron. Mm-hmm. They're all writing it. Ain't no snitching. And, ain't no mm-hmm. snitching right here. And Brandon. it's Brandon's idea. Really? That was Brandon's idea. Okay. So I came up with the concept after he... Mm-hmm. Came up with the idea, and he's like, no. okay, you're you're writing it. <laughs> Basically, mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, go fuck it. Go fuck it. <laughs> right? So, Man, that's what's up. On, uh, basically, we left off uh, halfway through Act 3 on the script, so. Oh, fuck. Hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You got to take hold those hold off. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nigga, is that the Gene Cole fucking glasses, bro? <laughs> no, bro, this is no, a fire that, conversation. That's exactly that's what I said. That's the yeah. Gene Cole glasses, bro. It's, it's I ain't a, seen that logo in like 30 years, bro. It's a, it's a fire conversation, fam. That's what we're having. Oh, nigga, bro, no. I didn't know Ed Hardy made... Make glasses, bro. Like for for, a, men, for men at that. For men. You what do you think of my glasses? Four the men fire. By men, in four men. Right. <laughs> four men by men. <laughs> no, no. Four men that like men. <laughs> right. That's what it is. Four men that like men. Where's your girl at then? Don't worry about it. No, where's oh, your you girl at? Then? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be a bullshit. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Where's your girl at? Bro? <laughs> We're all. I'm not gonna hear any of his dirty laundry. So. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's, no. Like, that's like that's like letter off. It's already out there, bro. It's already okay. That's fine. It's already out there. Man, the fuck up. I feel like I feel like you can only wear those glasses if you got bedazzled jeans, bro. No, you got <laughs> yeah, 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 no, he did. The, the mid Hardy jeans. Yeah, no, yeah. You gotta, you gotta take another picture with you holding the fence with those on. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I know what picture you're talking about. It's because I did some photography about this is like, probably like a couple years ago. Yeah, it was for your OnlyFans. Oh, I got no, no, no. This this was just like for my headshots. Oh, it was, it was oh hold on. Okay, hold on. I, I gotta. Oh, you go ahead, put the glasses on. Yeah, no, I'm, 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 hold on, I'm, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait we actually got some responses like, yo, yeah, do you well, really have OnlyFans? So, so we tell yes. them? It's, Wait, you do for Should real? we tell them or should we just like... No, 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 no. no. no Check content. out our OnlyFans. Content, yeah. You're Check gonna... out our content. Like and subscribe. Once you watch it, you're going to be like, yo, that's... Bro. That sounds about <laughs> right. Anthony? Huh? Yeah, we actually. Oh, oh yeah, I'm gonna send out the link. I'm gonna send out the link. Hold on, but it got can- it got we got uh, on hold right now because oh yeah, because we, we got canceled. We got canceled. We actually we got canceled. Bro, Only how did we? There's bitches showing their assholes on there. What the fuck? <laughs> but we get canceled, right? But we get canceled. I know. I swear to God. Well, for real. So did, did you show his mangina? Is that what happened? Mm. Well, I don't even know. But <laughs> the thing was that this fucker talked about it so much that people started asking. Since like the first episode, I'm really yeah. telling you that. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, bro, you stop saying this joke because <laughs> people are gonna start thinking. <laughs> let him, let him mm-hmm. think. Mm-hmm. And then next thing you know, he go, he calls me, he goes, hey. Our OnlyFans is up. I said, what? Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> R. He didn't say mine. He said R. R. I'm like, R. Exactly. Like, hey, 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 hey. Bitch, I said the details. Yeah. No, and I said, no, and this all started from my mm-hmm. idea I told him, like how I wanted to do it. He goes, bro, that's brilliant. Hey, I'll call you back. The next <laughs> day, the next day, our OnlyFans is up, bro. And I see you. And I thought like, ah, okay, yeah, bro. I'm yeah, like, ah, yeah. you. And then I sent him a screenshot. And then I sent. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> I had to take. I'm like, you took the, the fire glasses off. The cancel. Sh- <laughs> no, I called him back. I said, my the cancel show. He goes, yeah, he, he can't wait, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> we we got our OnlyFans for real. OnlyFans. Uh, now, now you finally have a place Honestly, to really I'm, express I'm, your foot I'm fetish, bro. Speechless, so. I don't. Wait, have, oh, but <laughs> stop! Stop! Don't wait, go. Wait, wait, wait. No, oh, oh, yeah, if there's on. anybody out there and you wanna, you really wanna to get with get with Manny, send him pictures of your feet, Please bro. Don't. Bro, he loves yes, feet. Yes, he loves oh, feet. Oh my god! Like, I, I can't wear flip flops at all. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like, 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 like my feet are still dry from last time. Yeah. <laughs> It's because you paint your toenails, bro. No bro, he likes it though. I had no idea. Like bunions. No, bro, yeah. it's like, <laughs> he, oh, he, he like bunions, bro. corns, all that oh, kind of shit, bro. Let, let me tell you what happened. Ingrown it's, toenails. I think it happened uh, on a. Uh, we were shooting a uh, commercial, a PSA, <laughs> and this fucker that we know is a mutual friend of ours. He said, just joking around. I guess he was training. You know, keep everybody laughing. He was trying to make the girls laugh. He goes, "Yeah, Manny likes feet." <laughs> <laughs> 
And when I say everybody stopped and then just looked over, and I'm, I'm like, no, no, I don't. I'm like, all the, all the women started putting, started putting like, on their yeah. shoes. Somebody showed me a commercial, a commercial she did about her feet. I'm just like, this is awkward. I, just, I know. I'm like, and then ever since that, that's been the running joke. So if you guys ever hear that, it's not, not a, true. it's not a running not really joke. When it's true. He just hit the mark. He didn't know. He didn't yeah. know. And every man, every chest, every chest that these fuckers get, they'll tell everybody he likes sleep. Just like that. Just like that. I'm like, well, no king shame, bro. Everybody likes their shit, bro. Okay, what about what about Rashad? He likes midgets. So? So? That's, 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 that's not really that awkward. That's not really that awkward, bro. It's not, Tony? It's not awkward, bro. Is, is it awkward? What's, what's more awkward? No comment. No comment. Oh, oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Dookie. 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 Come on. Dookie. 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 Really? Oh yeah, I sent a couple of pictures. Right? Yeah, I had, my hair went down like halfway down my back when I was what in the my twenties and thirties. Early no, uh. yeah, I had long hair back then. Looking yeah. like Antonio Banderas from uh, this, man, don't from Desperado. Desperado. Don't get me wrong. I was like, <laughs> like Banderas is one of my, as I call him, Anthony Flags. Right. Flags. It, it, Antonio Banderas. Yeah, but Antonio you know, Banderas. Tongue, Anthony you know. Flags. That's this English yeah, no, English, English, English way to say the literal English translation. Yeah. But yeah. Anyways, I digress. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I've always loved him as an actor, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I hated the fact that that man could do anything with his hair, and my biracial chinos. Mm -hmm. Oh, you. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh -uh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay. Oh it's yeah. Like, it's like either 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 I have these really nice short curls, or. Fucking afro. Right. Yeah, and that's, and that's, that was me growing up right there, like everybody. Yeah. Skinny, yeah. skinny with the big old afro really growing up. Looking like a too. lollipop. So, yeah, right. Yeah, pretty much. So, nah, so I mean, uh, but yeah, no, I mean, I got it to where my hair was, was uh, treated, if you will, and I had it long for years. Uh, but you know, life life goes on. You have to, you have to make a living. Mm -hmm. You know, and you gotta get you gotta get a haircut. You know the funny story about B Tony. I remember this one time we were at the bar at a charity event. I don't know. If, I don't know if was he there. Which charity event? Uh, yeah. the, we used the, to do a kids. lot of charity. We did a lot of charity yeah. events. We really did. People don't, and, and we're the assholes, right? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's all, that's all, that's all, that's yeah. No, no. There was this one time. We're, we're assholes, but we love the kids. Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this how you catch frills? I mean, we don't love the kids like the way like Catholic uh, priests uh, love okay, kids. Yeah, you know, that's we love story. the kids the way like you're supposed to love. No, I remember it was, it was a kid's toy <laughs> drive, <laughs> and uh, oh yeah, the, some, some lady thought that he was a male. Oh my god! What? She, the, the, so we were at the kids toy drive, and then it was a friend of mine. She approached me. She, oh. she goes, "Hey, wait a minute! I think yes, you were there. Yeah, because I get the picture, and he goes." Hey, is that is that Romeo? I'm like, ah, oh, you know me, uh, baby. I can't yeah. start. <laughs> so she she and uh we kept like playing this whole night. Me and Rashad kid like, yeah, that's Romeo. He's gonna sing. He's gonna sing any moment. <laughs> and uh I remember because I said, come here, Tony, and I introduced you. She turned mm -hmm. so red just by shaking his hand, and she goes, oh, my God. And you said, get the amores, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 that's Tony. I'm like, Tony, hold on, bro, not yet, not yet. Not yet, not yet. Not yet. It's and too it's, much for them. She, I mean, when I said this girl just pretty much just got on drills, oh, like, oh, my God. And then she, she didn't go that far. She was, and then she leans over, she goes, can you tell him to give me a hug? Oh. And then remember I told you, she wants a hug, and Tony's all like, Anything for the fans. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember that. I've been told like a lot, you know, by my Puerto Rican friends that I look like I'm Puerto Rican, and I'm like, no, I mean you're close. I, th I thought you mm -hmm. were. Nah, biracial. Well, biracial mixed with black and Mexican. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, Puerto okay. Rican. Puerto Rican. <laughs> Puerto Rican. I was about to say, isn't that, isn't, isn't, that, Puerto isn't that Puerto Ricans on the island? Yeah, like, bro. Pretty know? much it is. Pretty much it is. So. Yeah, but my dad's not Puerto Rican. Oh, I mean, that's that's the point. My dad's uh, not Puerto Rican. Ah, uh, <laughs> I see what you mean. <laughs> so yeah, I know his dad, so you know. Mm. And um, I think mine's a, Jack, a Bruce Lee or Jackie Chan, one of those two. You I'm telling you, bro. 
I'm Chandler Rose, Jackie Chan. Nah, man, it's. Uh, I mean, he's he's secretly Benedict Wong. I mean, like when I first. Saw oh, him, this motherfucker! Oh, oh. <laughs> secretly Benedict Wong. I was like, man, who? Why is Manny in? Uh, we we. In, yeah, uh, we I was like, 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 like we why is Manny it, in right? Doctor Strange? <laughs> 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 we, we went to go see it, right? Yeah. We, we all went to go see it. And, and why didn't he tell anybody? He, he was in Doctor Strange. He turns over to me, goes, "Man, Brent, why didn't you tell me you were in the movie?" Scene? What? He goes, "Yeah, we did." Like, <laughs> Doctor so, Strange, don't cast that spell. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, man. Yes. <laughs> oh, I forgot oh my about God, that. man. But so yeah, we got history. Oh God, we got a lot of history, bro. Mm. Like a lot. That's why we have you crazy assholes out here because we want to talk about some shit. Yeah. Some bullshit. Or some bullshit. <laughs> some, real shit. some real shit, bro. Um, yeah, what you got? That's all about like. Um, so I talked to you, uh, we were talking this whole week, me and this fucker, we've been talking like back and forth. We send each other videos and, and we were talking about like the toxic mess. He sent me mainly pictures of, of feet and videos of feet. It's yeah. weird. <laughs> but it's okay. But it's it what was, he I'm you. glad I was not in that text chain. Uh, but, <laughs> Don't worry, I'll send it to you, bro. I'll send it to you. It's too late. No, but go ahead, bro. No, it's like talk, either, well, females can be toxic and this, I don't think it's talked about as much as, as it is men. Why don't we well, talk like, about like, toxic Like the same thing as, as masculinity wise or what? Both. I think it's 50-50, personally. I think it, it, it's both. I mean, only a moron can say, oh, well, all women are, are, are the same. And, and a moron, too, can be a woman, too. All men are the same. They're not. Who the fuck do you try them all? <laughs> that's, that's, all that's all the joke in the book. Yeah. Who the fuck do you try them all? I well, mean, you know? but, but, you know, here in the, uh, I guess, in, you know, social media and stuff like that in the media, you know, we've been talking about toxic masculinity. Oh, this right. is toxic masculinity. Well, for every yin, there's a yang. So how come we're not talking about toxic femininity? Is what there a such thing, and what does it look like? Yeah. How do you identify it? Well, that's you know the thing. what I mean? Well, I think it's a, you can identify it, but it's, a lot of people are not willing to talk about it. Mm. It's per, like, perfect example. Like, if you have a, a baby mama, right, and let's say that. <laughs> oh, yeah, Tony, <laughs> yeah, Tony, why you laughing? Tony, why you, why, how many baby mamas you got, bro? <laughs> yeah. Last count. He needs to borrow everybody's fingers right. to me. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, but it's like <laughs> yeah. If, you, if you're one of Tony's baby mamas, leave in the comment. Leave in the comment. Yeah, just give, just, just have Maury Povich call. All right, but that's the same. You are not the father. Like baby mamas can be toxic as well. Sometimes they use the kid as a weapon. Oh yeah. But yet no one's bargaining chip. Yeah. But no one's willing to talk about it. No one's is willing to sit there and, and uh, call your homegirl out. Like, hey, that's kind of messed up what you're doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And but like boys, you know, I think I can honestly say this is if anybody knows me, this is my counsel right here. Like if I mess up, people are willing to call me out. Be like, yo, All the time. yeah, exactly. Every but time I need that. I tell you on a daily basis that you're an asshole. <laughs> Thanks, bro. He, daily. He still doesn't listen though. Hey, I know, right? I need that reminder. But uh, exactly. But I'm that's here to keep you humble, bro. My sister usually tells me that. Yeah. Like, See, so, there you go. So, See, no, but but you got somebody in your corner oh, that yeah. always make sure that like your ego doesn't get too big. Yeah, like yeah. Afro did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah right <laughs> exactly <laughs> he, there you go but that's what i'm saying though like, why are we not talking about that like you know the the mom is okay with having a new boyfriend and showing him around and, and introducing him to the kid but as soon as the dad gets a new girlfriend oh you can't i don't want that kid. bitch around my kid but that, that's been the story for, from from ages though you know it's, it's not just well, it's not just a story i know people that actually go yeah, through that now you know but why come no one's calling it out like even yeah. now like you know um i saw this one video there it's just that uh the girl caught the no. The guy caught the girl cheating. Yeah, she still took half of his house. She oh, yeah. still took the oh, kids. Yeah. She still took half of his money. I'm like, is it ever really? There's no such thing as fairness. Is it? Isn't that it's part not. of toxic femininity? I'm just saying. Just yeah. There's no alimony in Texas, so that is the only good no. Thing. But there is spousal support. Is which true. is basically Same. alimony, is, uh, yeah. just with different, just I, with different I, steps. I, 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 I alimony, pretty much. Yeah, you get as fucked. All yeah, these, it's alimony, but with different steps. That's all it is. All these treadmills, and you still want to walk all over me? Really, bro? What the fuck, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I'm you, just you drinking, nigga? You drinking? Are we drinking? No, no. Bro, this ain't, this ain't the, that podcast, bro. Really? Oh, no. Okay. Don't, don't start that shit. All these watches, and you still didn't have time for our love? <laughs> 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 all these glasses, and you still couldn't see us together? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Manny's uh, projecting so much personal feelings. Uh, I, I think so too. <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying. Hey, is, uh, hey, something you get off your chest, bro? Nah. You want to talk about it? <laughs> no, but I'm just saying. Is there some personal history that you have to be uh, yet yeah, unveiled? A, this is a safe space, if, a safe you space. Need, if you need it to be. No. Well, uh, well, that's another thing too. Is that you mm. know part of our part of our toxic masculinity that they say is that well men don't don't have their don't right. show they their emotions and stuff like well, that. Really well, like well. 
we don't typically, but even when we do show our emotions, oh, he's a pussy for crying. Yep. Yeah. Like, really? It can be, it can be seen that way, yeah. I mean, well, it, okay, I'll, I'll tell you the story, right? And, and those are people looking at it from the outside. I mean, that's the... That's yeah, exactly. The like, so, yeah. I'll, so I'll, tell, I'll share this story, right? It's a safe space, right? Safe. So I'm a huge Tupac fan. Huge Tupac fan. Right. So when the Tupac movie came out. Feel me. Right? <laughs> so when the Tupac movie came out, yeah. I went to see it. Right? I still haven't seen it. I took me like three and my movies. girl and saw the, saw the Tupac movie. Right? right? I know the whole Tupac story. Right. The scene where he gets shot, I cried like a baby. Mm. Because, like, because it, it hit home. Right. I remember when he got shot. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I mean? And to see it, like, I cried like a baby. What did she do? You're a pussy. Why are you fucking crying? You crying over that? Yeah. It's like, bro, like, that was Pac. Pac right. was my dude. Right, right. You know what I mean? I'm like, I think I was like 15, 16 when Pac died. Right. So, like, he was a huge influence in my youth. I looked up to him. You know what I mean? He was from Oakland. I was from Oakland. So, like, well, he represented Oakland. He was really from New York. New but, York, yeah. But yeah. he represented Oakland. You know what I mean? I was an Oakland kid, so like, you know, even seeing that as an adult, right? You know, like that hit home. That was emotions. So first, you're like, oh, you don't show your emotions. I do show my emotions. Now you're just like, oh, mm. you're fucking pussy, right? Like, what the fuck is that? Isn't that toxic femininity? It really is. I mean, it can be, isn't it? No, it I, is. I, they, they, I, they want us to open up, but as soon as you do, you call the bitch. Call exactly. The that's catch twenty two. I mean, yeah, yeah, I agree with with yeah. George. Yeah. To be perfectly honest, mm -hmm. but uh, I mean, everybody's a victim of their own circumstances, mm, and true. how they come up. You know, basically how they come up is how they're gonna act and treat people. Yeah. Well, I think, and I mean, they learn from what they've seen growing up. Yeah. There well, you go. Their I was, was gonna touch on that. Or, I mean, or yeah. if, if they even had figures or parental figures around. I mean, that's yeah. that's something that I mean. You have to really look at because I like looking at things from a big a picture, broader, a, right? A, 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 yeah, a big yeah. picture standpoint. It's like I don't know the situation, and right? Why is and like if I've been in some even recently I've been in some doozies uh, really? uh, relationships, but I mean nothing crazy like that, right? Yeah, but uh, but it's like. It's your choice whether you want to associate yourself with somebody like that or be involved with somebody like that. Or like you say, if you see it as toxic, then you have to make a choice for yourself. I think that's the thing. That well, that's, I mean, sure, you can you can separate yourself from that. But isn't, aren't women supposed to be accountable for themselves? Everybody's the same supposed way? to be accountable yeah. for themselves. Yeah. Exactly. Not just, not just any particular gender. And I'm everybody's, say, everybody's accountable for their own actions. Right. And, and I'm saying that's part behavior. of the, the toxic femininity is mm -hmm. that, Toxic femininity is where women don't want to be held accountable for their actions. It's exactly. because it's because it's a everybody's selfish. Every everybody's all about me, 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 me. Right. And, I, and I say everybody speaking. No, no, that's true. And, well, I'm I'm not trying to speak for everybody. You know, if you know mm -hmm. what I mean. I mean, you have people out there that are, you know, me, 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 and mm -hmm. and you have people that if they're in a relationship. And they actually want to work on making a relationship work, and they're a team, the way a relationship mm -hmm. should be. It's just my opinion on it. Mm -hmm. Well, no, it should be. Yeah. Then, and, you know, you're doing things for the others. Like, you know, when you, how do I say this? So basically, when you're involved with somebody, regardless of their personality, their attitude towards you, if they're, you know, mean, if they're, you know, angry all the time or what have you. Right. Uh, pe I mean, some people thrive on that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some people love to be miserable. I know. I personally know people that are that way. That right. love to be miserable. Or what and they're used to. It's, it's, most times, what it's, it's used what they're to. used to. What they grew up with. Yeah, it's a normality. And and with that said, it's the dynamic that hey, if if it's in a dynamic that works for you as a as a couple, and that's what makes you thrive and stay together for twenty, thirty years. If that's right. the case, it is what it is. Right. Uh, but it's up basically, like I said, uh, it's up to the couple if they can, I mean, if it works for them, it works for them. Right. I mean, I can think of, I'm not going to name any names, but I can think of a couple right now at the back of my head that have been together for over two decades. And they're both toxic. Right. Mm. I mean, they're both toxic. 
but they love each other like you would not believe. Well, yeah. if it works for them, I it mean, works. I mean, yeah. But the thing is, like I, I say, I'm a product of that environment. Why do I say that? Is that when I grew up, I'm growing up, I don't know how to express myself now that I'm older. Uh, Meaning, mean, like, I was taught, you know, I'm going to say in right, Mexico. You must have repressed, pretty much. A lot. Yeah. You know, but, I mean, that's in Mexican household. Hey, cabrón, no llores. Don't be a bitch. Don't be a girl. 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 And now, <laughs> now you ask now you're just like I don't know. <laughs> I know who he's talking about. I don't know. The irony is I'm non-binary. The irony is she treats me so well. I know, <laughs> bro, bro. She treats everybody well except him. No, and I mean she makes believe people believe that, but that's the thing though. That again, you're right. But she will, she bends over backwards for you. Mm. She well, does. Oh, she yeah. really. It's her job. She's a no, 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 no. Really? There's a shit of Debbie moms out there, just like Debbie dads, bro. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, then hold on. That's mass. That's mass. Hold on. That's yeah. still toxic. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. But the thing is that, I mean, it's still toxic mm-hmm. because now I'm dealing with it. Oh, you know, yeah, like yeah. Uh, this whole week, it, my man, Rashad has been my, my, my crush, bro, because I've only been able to talk to him, like, and even then, he gets so mad at me. So, was your crush? No, no, crush. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Bro, I could do better. Also, <laughs> that, so, <laughs> oh, so this conversation now is we're, we're shifting over to man crushes? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why, did Chad say something? I'll wait for the Chad. Shout out to the Chad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, um, you know, uh, now it's like, uh, you know, like I said, when I'm dealing with loss, I didn't know how to handle it. I know yeah. how to talk. What's the first thing I did is train with George in yeah. the morning and yeah, then train again morning. in the evening. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I had a couple of friends that know me. Uh, they'll call me out. They'll be like, hey, man, uh, that's your way. That's your escape. You're not really dealing with the problem. You're just doing it because you don't want to deal with the problem. I thought I was dealing with the problem. You know what I mean? Can I have one? Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll get the water. No, you're fine. Don't uh, you know what I mean? Uh, and, and I don't deal with the problem. My problem is to go to the gym, train as hard as I can until I can't even lift my hands no you, more. You, you, that's not dealing with the problem. That's just uh, suppressing the problem. Well, exactly. That's, that's I mean, it's, still, problem. it's still we, we, not we, we, dealing. We would love to see it as, as dealing with the problem and, and working through it, but it's really not. Well, really. I thought, that's what I'm saying, that I thought you're, I was yeah. still You're working through, through the stress, but the problem is still not exactly. going Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm exactly. still not, I'm not facing it head on. I'm still just like, okay, I'm going to deal with it later. I'm going to deal with it. Mm-hmm. And later never comes. So now... When, you know, someone else has, that means something to me is, is gone, now I don't know how to deal with it. Now I'm all depressed. Now I don't want to talk about it. Hey, what's wrong? Nothing. I'm fine. And even, like, uh, I say I wear a mask. Even last week, you know, when I got – actually, I got the call while we were doing the show that, mm-hmm. he, you know, that yeah. he's gone. And I got in back the in. In middle of the show. And I got, I got back in, and I was still – you wouldn't even tell. No. But it's the mask that I wear because I've done this so long. And I didn't have, I don't have friends that I, you know, at, at that mo- at that time when I was younger, I didn't have friends that it was okay to cry. It was okay to, hey, man, I'm feeling this way. Show emotions. Show emotions. Really? Negation. Exactly. Why? Because all my life I've been taught to suppress. Uh-huh. Suppress, suppress, suppress. And then finally now I'm just like, what do I do? Like, you know, now I'm, when, you know, talking to you guys, it, you guys are showing me that it's okay. It's not weak. You're not a pussy. You're not, you know, and anybody, anybody that's going through something, I mean, you are, out. just not for this. Not for this. <laughs> but if you are going through something, if you're listening to us, please reach out to somebody. You can always reach out to me. Reach out to anybody. Anybody. Any yeah, you help. can reach out to me. Or reach out to Rashad. There you go. So, no, just not OnlyFans. You don't want to see that shit at all. No, but it's not good. No, like and subscribe my OnlyFans. <laughs> please. Right. But, uh, yes. Keeping that stuff bottled up is only going to hurt you more. Exactly. Right. So if you're going through that, you know, as a friend, as a big brother, as an uncle, reach out to somebody. Uh-huh. You know, don't hold it in. Mm-hmm. There's nothing nothing good comes from that. And, then, again, I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm 34 years old. I'm learning now. I mean, I thought you were 40. Uh, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got him confused with me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> nah, bro, you, you don't age. Tony's so cool. He doesn't age at all. Hashtag 40 bros. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sounds like a porno. <laughs> what? Oh, no. my <laughs> No, uh um, uh, as uh, I guess um, I've said it a couple times that one of my one of my strongest influences growing up was my grandfather. Right. Yeah. And my, one of the things my grandfather, you know, instilled in me was that, hey, it's it's okay to cry. It's okay mm. to to show your emotions. Right. You know, like it's it's okay to have your emotions. Right. So, you know, when when things make you sad or anything like that, like it it's okay right. to have that. What's not okay is for let to let that stop you from doing anything. So he, you know, instilled to me is like, hey, it's okay to cry, but crying and stopping, no. Mm. Cry and then move forward. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't let it hold you back. Exactly. He's like, go ahead and deal with your emotions. Right. But go ahead and move forward with it too. 
You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So uh, luckily I was able to, I was able to have them in, in, in my life to, you know, he wasn't that, you know, what people would call the toxic masculine guy where right. he was like, no, you can't cry at all. Oh, he was like, he was like, no, yeah. he's like, no, cry. I mean, we still gonna get this shit done, yeah. but yeah, go ahead and cry. I you think, know, yeah. like it's okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, uh, luckily, I've been able to to be there for you know for my family, for my friends, you mm-hmm. know, for for people that need me, right? Because I'm able to to share that emotion with them, right? And be like, okay, you yeah, know, you're able to show the vulnerability. Exactly, yeah. I'm able to show yeah. that that vulnerability, right. like. Hey, we we been through some shit. Yeah, let's cry. Cool. Now let's go get some shots. <laughs> so, I, think, I think that's how we deal with it. I think me, especially me and you, we would we'll deal with it with comedy. I know that I think it was the last week or the week before that you were having a hard week, and I, mm-hmm. I just kept roasting your ass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah was, like nonstop. What was the story about the car not wanting to start? Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> that uh, was a good story. Oh, man. actually, no, that actually happened again uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, mm-hmm. We were uh, we were I know we were having a hard time, and, and we were just both. Just going through it, and the car, uh, we, we, the, his car just didn't want to turn on, and so you know, uh, uh, another friend that was here, you know, he helped him out, and shout we, out to we, Fabian, yeah, and we were giving, you know, the the battery just kept going out, and next thing you know, it he loses his patient, and you mm-hmm. could kind of tell he wants to slam the door and he wants yeah. to do this, and, and mm-hmm. but he didn't. This time he handled it differently. Like mm-hmm. oh, you know what? He goes, I stop, you, you stop, mm-hmm. I breathe. And I will deal with this tomorrow because tomorrow is another day. Mm-hmm. And I said, "Damn, bro!" And it goes back to the first time I said it goes back to the first time yep. when we first became friends. Uh, you you lost it. He I did. <laughs> he slams the door. He kicks the car. Tell him what happened. Yeah, because he lost everything. He had mm-hmm. just got divorced, and the, the the apartment, no electricity, no. I didn't get divorced. She fucking left me. Yo, yeah, oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah, she left. That's a whole other issue. Go ahead. My bad. And he, he had no 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 food, no furniture. He sold everything and. Dude, I mean, this guy just, just I had nothing. Nothing. Mm-hmm. Everything was taken away from him. So as we we're going back to my house, his car just stopped working. Mm-hmm. Like just I mean, out of just nowhere. dead ass, just stop. Mm-hmm. And and next thing you know, he's trying to fix it. He's trying to move it. And next thing you know, he just starts. He gets so mad and he's yelling like pretty much at the sky and slamming his door and he's slamming. And he's kicking the crap out of the door, the the car. But I'm talking about kicking it. Like he was kicking yeah. the hell out of it. Yeah, I was. And he's just yelling, and I said, and I'm just like looking. I said, and he looks over, and he's just and I like, stop. And, and he's just like, ah. I said, you done? Right. Goes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just, just like, like that. <laughs> exactly. I'll never forget it because it's like you done. And he just starts laughing <laughs> because like something just came to him. Yeah, I was like, clicked, yeah, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> and you know, and easily I, in that time, I could have easily said, all right, bro, well, you're on your own. I don't know you nothing. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You is not my boy. We didn't grow up together. Peace out. Mm-hmm. I said, what are you talking about? I said, what are you mad about? Hey, we're going to hit the streets like it's mandatory. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get over that shit. Yep. And ever since that, we've been boys, man. Like, you know. Uh, we knew each other, what, barely a year by then, Yeah, right? less than a year. But I said, don't worry mm-hmm. about it, bro. We bros. Mm-hmm. You know, so welcome to the family. And ever since that, like, he's he's uh, he's family, you know. Bad boys for life. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, you know, that's that story, yeah. But it, it, but that's how we build bonds, you know. We, we yeah. all went through something together, you know. Uh, we all go through something, but... We are uh, keeping it real with each other. Uh-huh. We have that honesty to be able to open, you know, speak your mind. But at the same time, I respect it. Even if I don't agree, yeah. I still respect it. Hey, that's okay. Mm-hmm. But show me, you know, tell me, show me what you're talking tell about so I, can, so I can understand it. Yeah. yeah. And that's the thing that I think more people need to make that normal. Because a lot of people need to, uh, oh, you don't you don't agree with me, so you you must not like me. Fuck, you know, right. f that, no. f this. No, it's not necessarily. That just goes back to the me, me, me thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, and that's the thing that nobody, everybody's about me. And nobody wants to uh, share that knowledge. I think I always. That's why I said you and Rashad to me are two of the wisest people I know. Ah, oh, well, that's how you know. That's I don't deserve that, but thank you. Well, but I mean, that's how you, <laughs> when you talk, you know, you have knowledge behind it. You have. Facts behind it. I, th- I think I think one of the reasons why, because because I do that too, Tony, where where I'm just, where people call me wise, I'm just like I don't know because I mean you can speak for this too. Like we think of all the mistakes we've made in order to get this wise. Mm-hmm. You know what that's I mean? How you, that's how you gain wisdom. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. Like no, no, knowledge is taught. Wisdom is uh, is earned. Yeah. yeah. Just, you could be old and still be a fool. Oh yeah. I met a, tons of those. Moments. I think I have those moments. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
I mean, wisdom, uh, there's an old saying that says, you know, wisdom comes from experience. Yeah. Experience right. yeah. comes from making mistakes. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm and only learn, wiser because I've made more mistakes. mistakes. Exactly. exactly. applying what you learn to those mistakes because what's the old phrase? You keep doing the same thing over and over again and getting the same result. Re- expecting a different mm-hmm. result. That's... And that's, even, that's the meaning of uh, And even with that, though, yeah. you know, you, with wisdom. Are you talking about my love life? I was about to touch on that. As, as you get older, you start really seeing the type of woman that you really want in your life. Mm-hmm. True. Because when I was young, I wanted these these gangster thugs. I mean, mate, I still do. Bro, bro, Maybe I still bro, do. Those that will stab you when you're hey. fucking them oh, bro. Oh, bro, I'm just ah, saying. <laughs> <laughs> but I get it. Even to this day, bro, if I see a chola, bro, I'm just like, uh, like damn, hey, hey mamacita. Hey, hey, hey. hey, <laughs> I know, with the, with the eyebrows, I, the eyeliner. Like, for I carry a Sharpie with me yeah, everywhere. Yeah, I say no more. Hey, yeah. Exactly. I'm just like, Where she looks surprised all the time. Just, mm-hmm. Exactly. They call me. They call me Lil Chewy. Con este si tiene panza tiene chance. Right. But that's what I'm saying. That you know, even then, uh, now I, I, I've learned that not that you know. Uh, that crazy doesn't necessarily mean strong. I used to think that mm-hmm. when she's crazy, and she, I used to think uh, that oh man, that means she's a strong woman. Maybe that bitch no, is actually, crazy. That's, yeah, that that means mm-hmm. she's. She's, it could be ratchet or <laughs> she's hiding, you know, from... Vulnerability. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? She's and, a uh, Now I, I, I want, I love a woman that can communicate, I can yep. talk to. Uh, sure, you know, a lot of people say, oh, don't ever uh, talk to your woman about your problems. Why not? Mm, yeah, I don't know. Exactly. That's the thing. Like, what uh, the fuck is that? Why not? A lot. Go on, you know, a I, lot. Well, mm-hmm. it depends on where in the relationship I, you are. Well, that's well, the thing. Well, okay, yeah. well, that's the thing that, like, this, I, I mean, okay, like, you, earlier you today... If you just known this person for two months, yeah, no. <laughs> no, yeah. I have a hard time even telling people what I like. But, you know, mm-hmm. like, there, these are... Well, tell so me called, what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, oh, what I really, really want. Who was them? Well, <laughs> <laughs> Let it go, Jordan. Toe, toe jamming man. Uh, Seriously. <laughs> Seriously, send this. him pictures of your feet. Oh, Please. He, he was I men will and women. you if you send me pictures of your feet. I had no idea. That, I didn't. Bro. You didn't know that about, about it, it, right? Yeah, bro. I mean, everybody's got their own fetishes. I don't have that much. To each mean, their own, bro. To each exactly. Their own. Yeah, I'm not kink shaming, like, right? No, I'm no, just, no, you know, shame, my fetish is Cholas. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie. Cholas feet? No, I know. Right? Right? I'm not gonna lie. My fetish is hair and hands. Mm. What the? Hairy, hairy hands? No. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hair, <laughs> hair, hair, like long hair, like dirty yeah. hair. Okay. For me, for me, oh, for see. me, a woman's hair is her essence. That's just like, oh my god. So, but also like, I like like dainty hands. Man, how your hands, bro? It's like, I don't know. I didn't realize I that until a few years ago. Like, yeah. Man, those hands, like, man, those hands are just like too cute. Right? So, so, so like, would you ever girl. date a chick with a fade? <laughs> yeah, I have dated a chick with a fade. Yeah. Yeah. She was a chick. So, so it's just, it's just how her hair is. I mean, it, for me, it's more the person mm-hmm. than oh, anything oh, yeah. else. I mean, but that's what you. But yeah, I mean, that's your fetish. <laughs> it's my my cousin got rest his soul. Thirteen years yesterday, he's mm-hmm. passed on. Oh, mm. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, thank you. Uh, but he used to joke with me all the time. It's like, uh, you know, it could be, it was like, I think one one occasion, it was like we were looking at a magazine cover, had Fergie on the cover. Oh, oh yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay, Fergie. And he's like, man, Tony, shut up. You know you're all about this. And he was pointing at Fergie's hair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I was like, Wait, well, where? I, I'm, just, I'm saying, I'm just trying to make the Melania Bridges go down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, bro, shit. Well, you know that song. What? Bro, Fergie? Bruh. <laughs> I'm, just I'm just saying. Don't act like you don't listen. <laughs> as, you, like you know. as soon as I know that she was part of the Black Eyed Peas, I was like, well, I got black eyes. That's the first time I ever <laughs> heard of her. Maybe she liked black <laughs> eyes. Black Eyed Peas. Yeah. Uh, but like on, on uh, TikTok, <laughs> there's these gurus, these so-called gurus that they go the alpha and the betas. Right. You know, they're always giving advice on what not to do. Like you shouldn't tell your woman your problems at all because she doesn't care. Now, Ladies, if you're listening, please let me know if that's true. If a guy is sharing with you, does that, you know, make him less of a man? Make him, you know. It's shitty, well, first of all, it depends on how you're sharing and, again, where you are in the relationship. Mm-hmm. True. I agree with that. But I, 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 even if you are, you know. Um, Say two years in or something? Two years oh, in. Oh, yeah. That, y'all are practically married. If that's the case. Yeah. I mean, yeah. But that's the thing, though. A lot of people don't, are, again, like if you go, it's everywhere now. Mm-hmm. All the alphas, you know, you don't give a fuck. I mean, to me, what is an alpha, by the way? Well, I was about to say, I was oh, like, so, bad, so, what do you? I mean, what do you guys think an alpha is? What do you think a beta is, too? Oh my lord! What do you it's... think an alpha is? 
The an first two letters of the Greek alphabet. That's what I, 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 mean. Mean. <laughs> I don't know. An alpha since what? To, to other males or to his female? I don't know. No, I think you've, heard, you've heard of the <laughs> phrase an alpha male, right? An alpha, yeah. an alpha male is a male you know, who towers above all. Yeah. A, a male exactly. who, who is... Uh, a man's man, you know. Uh, Chuck Norris. Nigga, you like a Delta at the most, bro. You're you a Delta Chuck Norris. You can't want me, though. Hey, Steve can't, though. Steve, hit the line, bro. Dookie. Alpha male? Yeah, nah. Said, he said the same shit. Dookie right. says no. You know, you know in, 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 the, in the most <laughs> most, most common sense, an alpha male is a man who towers above all, a man who is a man of a man of man. Yeah. Who, who, who that's is the strongest of all? That's essentially the definition. Yeah. Yeah. He's a man. Who's man. To use. Well, mm-hmm. not, I mean, just the definition. But I want to like, what do you consider an alpha male? Like, I don't know. That's, that's, that's nothing I really give him too much thought to. Uh, that's yeah. Really, that's that's. Mm-hmm. I, now, see, I, w- simple, I don't know. I would say I, I would say that that an alpha male. Is is a man who, who is, you know, who like you said, kind of tower above all. A man right. who a man who differentiates himself between other males. Yeah. Right. Okay. You know what I mean? Now, you could be an alpha male and not be a good guy. All right. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. That's, that's Facts. definitely. Facts. You know what I mean? There's there's a lot of alpha males that right. have that alpha energy. It's just basically, you know. You could be the shittiest dude and right. you still be you still be an alpha. Right. And I think a lot of times well, not a lot of times, I think sometimes in social media and stuff like that, they, they get that confused. And that's why, you know, the whole idea of being a, a beta male. Right. There's some good dudes that can yeah. That are beta males. Or considered beta males to, to some people. And I would say, like, you know, just a Throw my definition before you guys throw your definitions out there. I would say that the beta male. I was just about to ask you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would say that that the beta male is a man who is willing to come second to anybody. Who will always come second? That's because the alpha is not willing to come second to anybody. anybody. Yeah, yeah. Whether it's another man or his woman. Right. But a beta is willing to come second to. Ego also is a big. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Like it's a beta it's, 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 is like they're you know they're CEOs that are that are betas. They're right. like you know good dudes that are betas, but they're still betas. Right. They're still willing willing to take that back seat. They're not willing to lead the charge. Correct, but also for a justifiable reason to take the back seat. Right. It's like if, if, if it's for the betterment of a project or for a team or a group of people. Or just, or just a, or a friend, you know. Yeah, I mean, that, a lot of times that's why they want to step back because they actually they're actually able to look back and see, well, what are the benefits and what are the pitfalls of taking the lead on something or what have you, right? Right. Where an alpha male is like, well, it's my responsibility. Yeah, I'll take it. It's, it's all on me. He takes it upon himself. He takes it upon himself, and you know, to try to maintain the image. Either I fell or I passed, and I'm gonna get the shit done. Yeah, exactly. Well, I disagree on that. Okay. I I would say that. That a well, good. <laughs> no, no, good. no. We, uh, I would I would say that an alpha. I'm surprised you're not imitating. Yeah, me, right? that, <laughs> that, that an alpha doesn't have there to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for people that don't know. I just I tell everybody. That, I don't do that. that but, Tony know. always. Every time Tony, <laughs> Tony yeah, so uh, <laughs> yeah. So so so. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, we're so attracted. Yeah, people are listening to us. Tony rubs his hands, both of them, like he's just like, and then he does the whole lip thing and looks. Yeah. Actually, I don't do that. That's him. You know, you know what? I can 100% see it, though. Bro, you I, I tell, no, he doesn't do that at all. I just make that up. Exactly. I just, exactly. I've been telling that for years that Tony, Tony. <laughs> and it kills me every time he does it. I just think it's hilarious. He doesn't do that, though. But, but I, I would say, like, a, like an, an alpha is willing to, to seize the opportunity. If he, if yes. he believes the opportunity for him to get ahead mm. is for him to step back and let somebody else. That's not then how he I can see do that. Alpha male, but fair. Okay. But that's fair. I mean, you know what I mean? Your, yeah. But that's, that's, but I see your point though. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Tony? I see your point. Has I mean, alpha male? Do I now? What's your definition of alpha male? Well, I mean, I, pretty much what I said earlier. It's yeah. like, uh, you know, yeah. somebody who's, who's, I mean, like, like you said, exactly, pretty much exactly what you said. Mm-hmm. Uh, somebody who's, you know, a man who's above others, uh, who an asshole? It, well, it can be, but not necessarily. No, no, it is. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Well, but, no, but, but, but like, let me put, put it. I mean, put it in a way with like somebody who, who is a leader, mm-hmm. and who, who and who's who's somebody who stands out right mm-hmm. amongst others. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, he puts a lot on his own shoulders 
to maintain his position. Mm. Or, or his, uh, his, it's, uh, it's like I always and, say. And it's, it, it, it's an image. Yeah. yeah, it's all about the image. And you and I have talked about that on right. many other occasions. Mm -hmm. But it's all about the image. And, uh, and sometimes an alpha male, just in my opinion, I don't consider myself one. But I'm just saying from what I've observed, uh, they don't want to let the image go. Mm. Yeah. And in well, I think that's I think that's one. Yeah. I think that's one of the see, downfalls so of being the, 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 uh, an alpha. And and I don't. My opinion on it is I don't see why. I mean, every, nobody can do everything by themselves. Mm -hmm. You need help. Right. Right. No. No. That's true. Right. But, and, no. But, no. I mean, it's like I always say. You know, with great power comes great responsibility. But wait, wait. Yeah. I, I said that's, that's, what? Look like that Spider Man. With, no, bro, with, bro. with great ability comes great accountability. What? What do you say? Yeah, bro, I just, I just made that That's up. That's also bro. from Spider Man. No, 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 no. But, um, uh, what? Yeah. Nerds. <laughs> bro, I just made that up just no, that's, now. That's Spider Man. No, 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 oh, okay. Spider -Man. I think it was a Jewish like, like, guy no. named Stan Lee. Yeah, yeah, some yeah, Jewish guy. Uh, um, uh, RIP, my nigga. You pretty sure. <laughs> I mean, whatever. I mean, you make your friends rich, you make your enemies rich, and you just, you know, see the difference. That's that's Tony Stark. What? Yeah, he, he, yeah. He, you're ripping off Tony Stark, bro. Yeah, bro, bro I just made that up. <laughs> Again? What a, what yeah. a dick. But anyways, like I was, I wanted to say, uh, I wanted to say that a lot of people confuse that uh, being an asshole is being an alpha. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. being beta, yeah. being beta is being wh submissive. Uh, a wh 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 yeah. Yeah. submissive. But I mean, like I me and Rashad, we spoke earlier and we said there are some people, like I consider myself an alpha, but I'm not an asshole. Why? Because uh, I mean, hold on, hold on, hold on. Dude, come on. Dude, even do what I fucking. But I can be I, again. I I'm a person that will sacrifice myself to help others, that is, and that I'm is willing true. to, to sit yeah. there. Thank 100%. you. And, and I'm willing to treat everybody with kindness and respect. I don't need to be tough all the time. To an extent. You know. Yeah, there you go. To an extent, I am tough. But at the same time, I'm willing to, to go above and beyond for everybody else around mm -hmm. me. Oh, yeah. You know, so, and at the same time, you know, uh, and I have this before, that I would approach a woman or that I talk to a woman, and she'll be like, you're just too nice. I'm like, mm. but the guy that she considers tough yeah. is a guy that's being loud and, and making yeah. himself yeah, look yeah. big. And I'm like, I can whoop his ass with one hand. Bro, no, no, mm. the guy's going to beat her ass when they get home. Exactly, but that's the thing that, that she considers him. Uh, oh, it's because you're boring. I'm like, but the things, my, you haven't even gave me a chance yeah. to show you what I can mm -hmm. do. You're just basing on because I'm too nice. Again, the loudest one in the room is always the weakest mm -hmm. one in the room. You know, the quiet yeah. one. I'm always worried about more of the quiet one. Yeah, bro, shit. What, what do I always say about confrontations, bro? If we're talking, play dead oh, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's fine. Over. Oh, I just said play dead. No, I'm saying, like, if, <laughs> if, if, if it's a confrontation in, you know, whatever whatever arena it is, yeah. if, we're st if we're still talking, oh, it's fine. You ain't doing yeah. shit, bro. Yeah, like, it, it, nothing's shit. going down. It's throw when, a punch. When we stop talking, right. that's when shit gets real. And that's but thing. as long as we're like, oh, you, you motherfucker this, motherfucker that, oh, do that all day. Talk we do that all day. day. You know what I mean? And What's the mask you throw? What else I'm saying? That exactly. a lot of people, I say this for martial arts, that people that train know the ugly side about fighting. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's yeah. why, I mean, a lot of That's why we try times, to avoid it. There you go. Yeah. Now, a lot, I've been told, but dude, like, there was this one time that was just like, but dude, you could whoop his ass. I'm like, who am I trying to prove that to, bro? Yeah, why? I know why? Why? Oh, you whoop a lot of motherfuckers' asses. But again, I, you don't see that once this starts, some, anything can go wrong. If one bad punch can actually kill a guy. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, I don't know, but you, you yourself have led that point to where you, you, you see anger, you, you see red. Yeah, exactly. And you, you're ready to kill a motherfucker. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But then, again, it's, it's taken to a whole other level. But that's what I'm saying is that why don't, who do I need to prove that to? Nobody. For To look good in front of a chick? Man, yeah, she... Fuck that shit. Fuck that bitch. Yeah. Well, hey, let's put a pin on that. We're going to go on break. I think, Rashad, this time you chose the songs. Uh, right? I never wait, choose the songs, bro. You do. You got it. Manny's the one that sends the email. Thanks, Dookie. Are you going to tease or are you going to let it play? Uh, huh? Are you going to tease or are you going to let it play? Or, you know? uh, let it, let he let only teases his feet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> play the song. Play the song. <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll be right back. That's why I'll treat you like trash It's not what I really want to do But you only date bad guys So I'll give you my best try to treat you way you want me to I'll never open the door or pull out a chair You can tell me how your day was, but I don't really care And if you ever get cold, you just have to hack it Cause I'd be cold too if I gave you my jacket like 
<laughs> Welcome back, and uh, we had a little good time. Uh, Rashad chose those songs, by the way. I missed the second song. Uh, it's it's called Rashad's Bromance. He was dedicated. He dedicated that song to somebody, I think. To Chad. 
<laughs> just, just like that? Can you imagine Chad's gonna be listening, babe? I swear I'm not gay. Bro, just, <laughs> bro why do they miss you every episode? Like, like not, not just once or twice, like every episode. Uh, I, I, I bet his wife is really thinking, like, okay, did you really have a thing with him Chad back in the Mary? day? Yeah, Chad got married. I didn't know that. I know, right? I'm oh, so disappointed. Wow. Congratulations. Hey, oh, so that's why that's why he went to a depressive state. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody did. Everybody, everybody, did. Every, everybody did. Half of DFW yeah. was sad that Chad got married. Oh, like, yeah. For real. So that's why we had the ice storm? Huh? That's why we had the ice storm, bro. <laughs> that's why we had the ice storm. That's why Chad got married. Chad got married, bro. It's like. Well, uh, congratulations, brother. I haven't seen you in I, I, how I long? Like three years? Uh, four yeah. years? It's been a while, man. I haven't seen him for a while either. Yeah. But he's back, man. He's doing great. Oh, is he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's, he's, he's uh, back off the road and stuff like that, you know, because he was doing it. Much Iron love to our brother right. Chad, man. So. We go back. Um, we but really yeah, what were we saying? Uh, so I was saying, yeah, so uh, the beta, people consider uh, that weak. They, they, I mean, even women, look at women. Like, uh, I, I need an alpha male. I can't have no beta male. Exactly. And that's the thing that so, I. Some women do love that, though. Well, that's the thing. Hold on. Because. It's when they love them. When they love them. Yeah, they only yeah, love them, yeah. like. When, you when know, they can use them. When they can use them. But, they're, you know, the, the alpha man is the one they cheat on with. So. And see, that brings us into the red pill. Because red pill is like, hey. Like the matrix. If, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the red pill is like, you know, being aware of people's actual natures. Right. Oh, and, God, yeah. you know, a lot of the red pill yeah. and MGTOW kind of stuff is like, you know, women, women use men. Right. Like a man... Loves a woman because of who she is. Right. A woman loves a man because of what he can do. Right. So if a man can't provide whatever it is that he, she's looking for at the moment, hmm. she doesn't pick him. Right. So when she's, you know, in her 20s or whatever like that, being hot to trot, hmm. you know, she's looking for, you know, the hottest guy and all that kind of stuff. And, right. you know, if he's got money, that's cool. You know what I mean? So... That's who she's going to. Right. Well, three, four, five kids later, now she's 34, 40, you know, something like that. You know, something like that. Well, now her, now she's, you know, she's competing for the same men, but now these same men are going after 20-year-olds. I want to ask you guys. I'm going to stop you right there. I want to ask you guys, when when you talk about stuff like that, because I see this a lot, and do you think that's hating women, though? No. no, it's no. understanding their nature. Ooh, uh, you see what I mean? You see what I'm saying, though, right? I, I, I heard you right. So, 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 a man that hates women is called a misogynist, right? Mm-hmm. What do you call a woman that hates men? But I don't massage nobody, bro. Oh, uh, lesbians. <laughs> Tony was <laughs> Tony's like fucking shit. They're, 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 no, but they're, they're, it's a joke, but it's for real. What was a man, it? A man who hates women is called a misogynist, right? Right. And a woman who hates men, there's no word for that. Well, okay. there is. It's uh. It, it, there is a word, but it's not really. It's not. It's not as common. Feminist. You know? Yeah, no, no, no it's, it's, uh, no, it's an actual word. It's an actual word, though. It's a joke. Yeah, there is a, there, you know, <laughs> but I guess uh, it's not, it's misogyny not is, misogyny, it, I have to look it up. It's, but there, there is a word for, for the woman. opposite of yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, but, you know, it's true. Like, I was, like I was saying, it's like, if you understand the nature, like men, men in general, mm-hmm. our, our instinct, our base plo- programming, Vision. our blueprint. Visual. Blueprint. Is we're visual, you know what I mean? We we want to do stuff, we want to fix stuff, we want to make shit happen. Right, fix shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's that's typically what we do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Women, on the other hand, their blueprint is you know for nurturing, for for okay. creating stability, for you know creating households and which that. Woman, which women are you talking about? That sort. Of, they, they the good ex- ones. They don't exist. No, they do exist. Where? where? Yeah. See, you just can't speak for, you know. You can't speak in a broad stroke. Like yeah, that. exactly. Right. I mean, what? you can't paint them all in a broad in a broad. Brush. Well, I'm, I'm just saying Everything. that everyone, every human being <laughs> has the base blueprint. Aliens be like, no, hold up. Now, <laughs> now, whether or not you decide to, based on your upbringing, based on whatever. Right. Whatever uh, environment or factors go, whether you decide to go in line with that mm. or decide to go around that, mm. that's still the base blueprint. Right. See what I'm saying? Because humans have, I mean, humans have evolved for, you know, hundreds of thousands, almost a million years. Facts. You know what I mean? We've only been living in this type of society for the past 2,000. Right. So 
there's a lot in our genetic makeup that is instinctual. Mm -hmm. So that hasn't been bred out. So a lot of it carries over. That's what I'm saying, like the base blueprint. I'm not saying that all women act specifically A, B, and C, but the blueprint is there, so those elements are there. Ergo, why, why a woman who will meet a guy, hmm. he's a nice guy, mm -hmm. right. he's a good guy, he checks off all the boxes that she says she's looking for a man. Right. As soon as he's like, hey, we should date, she curbs him. Mm. Why? <laughs> That's never happened to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, why? Because she thinks she could do better. Ooh. Because as a woman, your base blueprint is to find the best that you can get. Right. Sure. Because your investment in building a house and offspring is way more than a man. Uh. No, yeah, you're right. Think about I, I mean, no, you're right. You're right think right. about the investment a woman has in creating a family is way more than the man mm -hmm. because it's time, effort. You're putting your body on the line. Women die from childbirth. True. You true. know what I mean? Like there's a huge investment. So you're supposed to mm. find the best you can get as far as as far as the, as far as the the genetic yeah, makeup yeah, yeah. of the man and the providership. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah. But the problem is is that nowadays we've divided I mean cuz back in caveman days if you were strong and healthy you were a good provider. Right. Yeah. Well, nowadays if you're strong and healthy that doesn't necessarily mean that you're a provider. Yeah. yeah. You ever seen you ever seen guys in prison they got six packs. You ever seen CEOs? They're kind of fat and chubby. That is true. But which one is the better provider? Mm. So that's where you end up with. But, but a provider should always be financially, though, you know. Well, tell them. But. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> well, then that, and that, and that. We'll see, we'll that, see, that's, that's we'll see, that's the thing, though. That, that's, that, that, that's that, why, that. that's why when the, when the woman is like, okay, I've got three, four, five kids by Chad Thundercock. Then, <laughs> then, babe, I swear you know, I don't know. <laughs> exactly. You know, my, you know, these things lie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When, now that you've got all the kids by these alpha dudes, now you're looking for a beta dude to provide for these kids. Right. Ergo, why a woman with kids will introduce the boyfriend to the kids and get them attached to them. So mm -hmm. now he's going to take his resources. That he was previously spending on himself right. and spend it on her and her kids. Right. I'm not saying, but I'm but saying. I'm saying. <laughs> Stop me when I'm lying. That is Looks true. like all green lights to me. There's some truth to what he's saying. Okay. So what, what do you disagree with, Tom? I don't. Well, I, I mean, well, like, you can't paint everybody with a broad brush. You, you, you can. There are there are exceptions. Because sure, the, the there's exception, unicorns. Because the, the exceptions really there's really just one. A lot of it is. What you're saying, you know, security and, and stability. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's also how somebody makes somebody feel. Okay, and A sure. lot of that that can trump the other stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's that emotional yeah, yeah, yeah. side. That's, that's, that's the emotional side. But the man yeah, not necessarily provide financially, but he can emotionally he can support you. He can help you and guide look, you, you know. Look at how everything is going, though. That's no longer about how you feel. It's all about how what they can get from you, what you said. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, well, I mean... I mean that's that's from what I've seen and what, from what I like. I said there's a lot of truth to that. You know, I mean, yeah. But but I mean, it, you kind of take the structure of like arranged marriage. Well, see, the, behind, you, you see, know? me and you were mm -hmm. like the old school. You know, we like to if a person makes you feel amazing and great, then yeah, you know, there's something you, we could work something. It doesn't matter. Right. But now, uh, you go again. I I, I use TikTok because I was on it this whole week just to see what they're talking yeah. about, and uh, since I can't show it here. But I can tell you that a lot of these people, it's like uh, girls are talking about, well, oh, I need a man to handle me. Uh, first of all, you're not an animal. Yeah, like, bitch, like, yeah. You know what I mean? Second mm -hmm. of all, we, uh, uh, well, he needs to be 6'1", and he needs to be making six figures. I'm like, if, even if he was, why would he choose you? Over, over you know, all these yeah. other women. Women have all these lists, but all they have to offer is a used cooch and a... Uh, some other niggas' kids. I mean, you're a talk some, some other niggas' kids. Some other, no. Say, say, exactly. say, 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 some other niggas' kids. I'm not <laughs> so what other you can't use that word. <laughs> Which, uh, oh, we had a whole back, episode about back. that. We got a whole episode about that. Go back. You yeah, go back yeah it, we right? had a whole episode so about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know what I mean? It, it's mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but, but that's what I'm saying. Is that you have to pass to use it? 
Yeah. 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 Ye
<laughs> See, hold on, and, and I'm gonna pause you there. But I'm not. We're not saying that we hate all women, by the way. No. And we're not saying that it, whatever you're doing is wrong. If that's how you make money, hey, more respect to you. Mm-hmm. But I got OnlyFans, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so it's finally fucking true. He does have OnlyFans. No, we, yes. We tell, now, now, now you can really like and follow. Bro, he like said it in the beginning of the show. It was real. That's yeah. real. No, no, no. But, but now it is 100% real. Yeah. 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 It, was just, it was just a gimmick. Yeah. yeah, for, for, yeah for, <laughs> at first it was a joke, but yeah, now we got only. Yeah. But again, if that's how you make money, then hey, more respect and more power I to mean, you. I mean, what was it between but, the stripper and OnlyFans bitch? Uh, honestly, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm, 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 but you can't command respect. Though. I was gonna say that can you? that you can see her ass and drink beer at the same time. But if I'm looking at her OnlyFans, yeah, and I got yeah, beer yeah, in my yeah, fridge. Yeah, you know. So and, and, and you gotta jack off. You know, you can do that shit in the strip club. See, that's the difference. That's the difference. <laughs> I got a, I got a quick, quick, quick joke. You got a quickie? Uh, you got a quickie? Give us a quickie. Why don't strippers have AC? Why? Why? Only fans. Only fans. <laughs> wow. Go home. Go home. Okay. Really? You're drunk, dude. <laughs> that's a well, and that's another thing. Somebody can, take his mic. Can you respect the woman the same if she has an OnlyFans? Yeah. Would you date one? Would, would I, I date one? Well, that's wait, the thing. Wait, wait, wait. Would you date a woman that has OnlyFans? That's the thing. Honestly. That, hold honestly. On. That's what, the thing that if I date her talking? that way, I might. Because I'm accepting her that way. But if, but, but if you met her and you later find out she has OnlyFans the whole time you were dating. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the difference, though. That's, a, that's lying. Mm-hmm. Is it? Is lying? You know, it is. You ever, if you never asked her, Ooh, well, is, it, well, is it lying or just omitting the truth? Because it's a big difference between lying and omitting the truth. You oh, know, yeah, so have a questionnaire when you first approach a person. Hey, by, by the <laughs> way, Bitch, do you, you, only fans? Do you have an only Snapchat fans? premium? You know, Snapchat <laughs> premium. Snapchat. <laughs> 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 uh, you got to go old school. Bro. See, you, old you, school. you already know. See, you already <laughs> know, son. <laughs> Do you got a MySpace? Hold on, bro. Would you though? Would you though? Right. No. Would you though? Would you? Well, speaking of Mocha Hoenn. What? Hold on. Who Mocha Hoenn? Mocha Hoenn? Who Mocha Hoenn? We ain't snitching around here. Nah, bro. No, but would you? I ain't even graduated high school. A chick that has OnlyFans? I don't know. It's hard, bro. What about you, bro? I already don't think I could. There's a lot of dependencies. Yeah. I mean, there's just... just the Depending on the content or... No, just... I mean... <laughs> like, no, like, like what what would what would sway you to be like uh, yes I'll date her, and what would be like oh like, hell what, no. what would be the part of no yeah, I mean for one thing you just gotta get to know the person. I mean, no, it's, 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 I mean like let let's say everything is equal. Let's say you you cool y'all vibe and stuff like that. You kind of find out she has OnlyFans, she's and that's how she makes it. That's how she makes her money. Uh, so what would be she's like uh, what would she, yeah? So what would make you be like yeah? I'll, I'll date her. Like everything, like y'all cool, copacetic, and you vibe it. That's really hard to answer because yeah, I've never been in that situation. So I that was, you know of. That's a fair point. That what is about a, a stripper? Point. It would just isn't that I mean, the same. That's, yeah, you're, we all would start date a stripper. Yeah, like like I always. I don't, I don't think I would. I, I, as a wise man once said, <laughs> "I'm in love with a stripper." She <laughs> That's right. What? Rest in peace. What? I mean, well, no, what bro, I just made that up. That's the pain, bro. That's, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. Shout out to Monster. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Just blame it on the alcohol, bro. But I mean, isn't there <laughs> other... <laughs> my, my thing is this. Isn't there other um, ways to make money? Like, is that... A hundred percent. A hundred percent, hundred percent. But, you know... But how much money will you make? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah as much know. money well, as you no, want to no, no, make. Well, same shit. I mean, same shit. I mean, you can consider pretty much stripping for females, you know, the oil field for men. How many men ran to the oil field because they don't want to get an education? Facts. How many men went away? Well, how many men went to the oil field not on, because they there was no other opportunity for them? That's true. But can you say the same shit about about females going to be strippers? Well, that's. I mean, I, 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 no, I, I, you can't, I mean, a yes and no. It, like it, it really it's, depends. It's, it's that gray area. But yeah, it, there's a gray area. Yeah, it depends so on. It really it. depends on what they want to do with their life. If they don't, you know. Do, they, do, do we look for the easy way out? If they're looking for the easy way out, that's the easy way out. I don't think stripping is the easy way out, bro. I didn't say it was. No, we, we're, we're not saying that. But, but, I mean, but you have, have you been to some strip clubs? I mean, in Atlanta, but you don't, but you don't bro, have wait, wait, that's, those some athletes, bro. Wait, wait, what's the you name? Straight up. What's the name, bro? Oh, yeah. Th- I'll send you the link, bro. Wow. <laughs> I'll send you the link, bro. <laughs> yeah, so. but I mean. What, what yeah, I got some road trip. Are we leaving tonight? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, bro. Go ahead. I mean, I'm just saying, like, you know, it, it, it's, it's an, I'm not saying it's a. I'm not saying it's an easy lifestyle. Oh no, no, mm-hmm. right. But, by, by but it's a, but it's an easy job than spending four years in school. Spending, you know, is it really an easy job? I I will repeat what I said. I didn't say it was an easy yeah, lifestyle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you're saying the job is easy. Think about it. Mm-hmm. You have 
and and some people do this as a way to pay to or advance they're, themselves. Yeah, right. Some people have. Yes. They have no other op- options to do so. So there are some people, regardless of the gender, that do do that profession mm-hmm. to help pay their ed- for their education, or, or, or just their because they don't have, they can't get a scholarship or, or whatever. Living, even. Yeah, but or I know a stripper they're that's been going to nursing school for twelve years. Exactly. I mean, you got, you got to eat. just to get ahead. You, you got to eat. Right. You got to pay your rent. Yeah. You got to get around. You know. Yeah, but I know a stripper that's been going to nursing school for 12 years. I mean, she should be a doctor by now, right? Oh, you set her up. But, I mean, <laughs> of course I got to support the homie. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, come on, bro. <laughs> so I come I, I, in, I, I tip. I, I, I'm just playing devil's advocate as well. No, 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 no. no, 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 no we need that. We can't right, all agree on something. I feel it. I feel it. Yeah. yeah. Um, the thing is that, I mean, can they still command respect then? I say yes and no. They can command respect, but they're not going to command the same amount of respect. Right. Just the same way that... that yeah, they, they will be looked down. Yeah, just, just the same way that... It depends on the person. Too. That, you it's know, the lawyer mm. the lawyer talks to talks to this chick. Oh, well, hey, you know, I'm a lawyer and stuff like that. Oh, okay, cool, cool, right. cool. Oh, so what do you do for your laser? Oh, well, I'm in construction. Uh, really? No, bitch, I'm a supervisor. Like, yeah. you know, like, yeah, bitch, like, come I'm on, like, I'm like, foreman, bitch. I'm a foreman. I actually make the same amount of money as this dude. Right. But oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Like with my bonuses and shit like that. Right. Like, I actually make the same amount of money as this dude. Yeah. But which one is more respected? Right. Right. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. I'm respected in different avenues as the lawyers respected. Right. See what I mean? And the stripper is going to be respected in different avenues as a teacher. Right. Me myself. If you're a stripper, I'm just like, damn, you athletic as fuck. That's what's up. I've always you know what I mean? That. I have always thought that. Yeah. Wait, 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 but wait, at the wait, same wait, time, wait. you know, a teacher, I'm just like, oh, you a teacher? Damn, you deal with badass kids. Yeah. I bet your nerves be fried at the end of the day. Hey, so, you yeah. know what? Never mind. Never mind. I don't want to deal with you. Yeah. Nah. You know what I mean? But but I think, I think they're both going to be respected. Right. But they're not going to be respected in the same degrees in the same areas like i really think respect has different degrees right you know what i mean no no i agree i definitely agree so uh with that being said do you think that um you know with respect they, they want the well, <laughs> some of them want to be like uh the same should they we they be paid the same if they're doing the same amount of work no but they're not if they're doing the same amount of work they should be paid the same right but if they're not doing the same amount of work, they should. Fuck no. Fuck no. Well, what work are you talking about? Well, I mean, just anything. Okay, so if we go to construction. Only fans, bro. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> Let that go already. <laughs> Let that go no, already. no, go ahead. No, no, like uh, construction. Let's say construction. Mm-hmm. That's perfect. Right. So if a woman is working in construction, should she automatically be your boss or make the same amount of yeah, money? She's qualified. Why yeah, not? Yeah, yeah. If the qualifications are there, why not? Well, that's not what I've always said, but I don't see why they make it seem like men have a problem with women leading. Some men do. No, no, no. Some men do. Some men do. A lot of men do. A lot of men have that title where we're not gonna we're not gonna be told what to do. Well, it's where, because where, where, of we, we have that we have the alpha mentality. Well, it's the a lot respect. Of have that. It's the respect part. Like, if if yeah. we go in there, what what if what if the woman owns the company? Well, there you go. Or but see, if, or, I, mean, I mean, but see, yeah. she would know the ins and outs. Yeah. Right. But, 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 but if, versus if, like us, as, as a worker, I'm gonna be like, oh, fuck that bitch. She don't know what she's doing. She don't know what she's saying. But I also say the same thing as as the dude who owns the company. I'm like, fuck that guy. He doesn't know what the fuck yeah, he's talking about. There's a lot of that. But, but, but you know what I mean. But, but when it comes to a woman in charge, and like, she really don't know what she's doing. That's the mentality. See, I see them. I see them as both the same. If they're both fucking idiots, fuck them you both. See, you, yeah. see, you see that? You see that? But a lot of people don't. A lot of people see. Well, like, yeah, because now you're seeing a lot of lot of like female coaches in the NFL. Oh, yeah. 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 Like if if they're qualified, oh, yeah, if they're qualified, they're gonna do the job. If they're qualified, they excel at it. Then yes. Perfect. Hell yeah. As long as we don't have to lower the qualifications. There we go. Lower the standards. Uh, like if I'm a bricklayer, and part of my job is to wheel up a hundred pounds of bricks. Right. Yeah. If you can wheel up 100 pounds of bricks, fuck yeah, you're on my team. I don't give a fuck. Let's go, let's do it. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But if you got to take four trips because you can only do 25 pounds, yeah. fuck, you're wasting my time. Mm. Yeah, time. Time is money to an extent, you know? You see what I'm saying? I got you, I got you. Or if you're going to be on my team, I'm not going to pay you as much as the guy that's lifting 100 every trip. Right. Yeah. That wouldn't be fair to him. Right. He's kidding himself over. Let's see. Exactly. Yeah. 
you know, he's got to he's got to up his pace because you can't keep up. Right. You know what I mean? But as long as everything is equal, yeah, Who'd equal you? work, equal pay. Th- that's that's always been agreed on, but it's uh, it's not always that. It's way. not always that. I mean, because look look at uh, a lot of the time when it comes with with women like that, it's always about dick measuring. It really is like which is weird because they don't have dicks. Is that which is very mm-hmm. ironic. Mm-hmm. But it, it, it's like the uh, like if you look at uh, what was I gonna say? I lost my thought. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> no, what, what I was trying to say is that, like, money-wise, when it comes to money, they're like, you know, oh, well, we're, we need to be even. But if you do the same work or you do more than me, then, yeah, you should be paid more. But if you're not and you're just sitting behind the desk and I'm out here doing under the sun, mm-hmm. why would I want – why would you – give you a prime example, right? Me me and a female coworker actually got hired at the same time. Right. She actually has more experience than me. So she made more money than me. Right. We had the same job, mm. but she made more money because she had now. more experience. Right. right. You yeah. know what I mean? She's got 20 plus years. I've got like five years. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's 100% fair. Mm. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Right. If we would have came in at the same at the same pay level, right. I wouldn't have felt that that was fair. Mm. You've got 20 plus years. Right. You know what I mean? And at the same time, when we work together... You know what I mean? Like, uh, I give you a scenario where, you know, we work together and, and I'm running the job site. And so she's coming to, to visit to help out, but it's my job site. Right. She didn't come in all boss hog, like, hey, I'm going to tell you what to do. She came in like, hey, what do you need from me? Uh-huh. Oh, see, that's a difference. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. But that's good leadership. Mm. That's, why I'm, that's why I'm saying, like, I have no problem when it comes to, a woman entering entering space that is traditionally male. Right. As long as she enters with the same parameters. Right. If she came in all like, you know, boss hogging that shit, she'd have rubbed it the wrong way. I'd be like, nah, I don't need this bitch. Right. But again, if a dude came in, same qualifications, and was trying to boss hog that shit, I'd just be like, I don't need this asshole. Right. Same thing. So let me ask you this. Uh because they said that a power, a man with power can look at a woman that has nothing and love her for who she is. But can a woman of power do the same with a man that has nothing? I don't think so. I've seen it. I knew uh, I knew actually back in the day when I was working retail, mm. uh, I knew a couple that was regular at the store. Uh, he was a stay-at-home dad, and she was making really good money at her job mm-hmm. being the wife. And honestly, I looked at this guy as like, okay – uh, this guy's a god. I mean, small G, of course. Yeah. And I was like, this dude, I mean, are you kidding me? What are you doing that? And he was just, he's he was a regular it, at the store. He's really putting cool, it down. Really cool family. <laughs> and it's like, and she's like, oh, no, I mean, I'd love to go to work. I mean, I think she was a, an accountant or whatever for mm-hmm. her company. And he was staying at home. Well, he might not have been and, the alpha when it comes to financials, but maybe he made up for it in, you know, other aspects of life. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. He was a good dad. Yeah. Yeah. Being a dad. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll talk about being a good daddy. But that's what I'm saying. Like, because a lot of the times now, like women daddy. don't look at a, at a man if, like, if she's a higher position, she won't even look at him mm-hmm. or won't even give him a chance to day of life. They won't. You know? I mean, I mean, uh, the, there's been a couple, a couple curb stories. Yeah. You know, <laughs> uh, oh, you know, a couple, a couple stories where a couple good guys. May have got curbed by. Yeah. No, no. You know, I mean, I, I've I, I've experienced that. Like I've uh, way out of my league, and I've asked her, and I got curved. You know, it's like, and I'm just like, okay, well. But me being, you know, me, I would never look at stuff like that. Uh-huh. When it comes, to, I think it's just men in general. We don't care about all the. Because co- we don't. Because I'm gonna tell you a story. There was once one time I was at the gym, and I ended up just uh, talking to this this, you know, this beautiful woman. She was beautiful. But I asked her about a question about like a workout. Mm-hmm. And next thing you know, we start talking, and we're just like, I'm making her laugh. And next thing you know, she just, all of a sudden, she gives me her whole resume. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, what is the point to this? Is this like, a job interview? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, mm-hmm. what, why do you have the need to give me your whole resume? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm going to school, this and that. Uh, I'm going for master's. I got no time. She made it seem like this broad had no time not even to say hi. Mm-hmm. And I'm just oh, like, I see what you're saying. You see I'll what I mean? It's mm-hmm. just like you're trying to, and I'm just like, why are you telling me? That? All I was, all I was asking about was a back workout. So yeah. you know, mm-hmm. and, she, and uh, 
my thing to this is like, oh wow, like so man, basically we don't, she thought you were trying to hit her up. Yeah, and I was and, just like, no, and then and but men just, don't do that. Even if you even if I went to college or, or uh me being who I am, I don't sit there and brag about none of this. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. I'm just like, hey, I like you as a person. You make me laugh, you we vibe, we you know, like we click, yeah, yeah. Well, you know. So there's a concept called hypergamy. I'm not sure if you guys are from. I've that. never heard of hyper who hyper like hypergamy right it's like a is is well it is kind of like that it's basically Don't it's the concept that I've never heard of it. yeah it's it's the concept that women always look for the best man that they can get with right okay yeah so so they're always looking for a man that they're is better better than them right that is why. A woman that is a five on the scale is trying to bang nines and tens. Right. Whereas a guy who is a five, he'll try to go for a six. <laughs> At the most. Try to, try to go for a four. Yeah. But he yeah. sees a nine. A, a, seven, a seven when he's drunk, nigga? Yeah, a seven when he's drunk, and he, he, but he sees a nine, he's just like, nah, I'm not going to do I that. I get that. Yeah. yeah. So... So with that, be, so with that being said, if a woman is is successful in in her in her financials, if she is successful in her, or not even successful, if she's just mediocre, right, in her life status, and she sees a guy who's mediocre in his status, right, she'll curb him because she, she thinks to. she could do better. No, no, yeah, yeah, I get you, I get you. So that's the concept of hypergamy, and even. Even if she lands a seven, mm. if he ever slips down close to her level, she's going to see if she can find somebody else. Right. Hypergamy. Yeah. I've never, I've never heard of it, but it makes sense. I'm, but, I'm familiar with the concept. I just didn't yeah, the concept. Right, right. You didn't know it had a word. I didn't know Exactly. That, yeah. But the thing is, it's all of us have seen the scenario before well, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. in yeah. real life. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. I've seen, I seen it uh, firsthand. Mm-hmm. Like uh, where you know, um, and this is the thing that uh, it gets to me all the time. Like I'll have you know somebody, in there and it's always a female. There's no good guys. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I just seen you curve three or four great guys. Yeah. Yep. And, just, well, just because of men with defects. Well, and or what they say is a defect. Well, I don't know because the thing was like you know uh, they they left they left the good guys for this dude that doesn't even respect them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. L- literally seen that. Literally see that firsthand, and I'm just like I'm confused because to me I'm like, you're asking for a great guy, but you walk right past them and literally walk past them. Oh, you'd be like, nah, I don't, nah, that's no, not, no, no, it's nah. not him. No, it's not he's him. not for me. But you wanted someone that loved you, take care of you, compliment you, improves. That's you know, like that's he's right there. He's that right there. He's right here. He checks all the boxes, yeah, but like, you're just like, uh, nah, I want the guy. I mean, black. sure, sure, he doesn't know my last name, but yeah. <laughs> we had a good time. No, you didn't. No, you, you didn't. didn't. <laughs> but, and that's the thing, that people are willing to not admit that to themselves and lie. Like, mm-hmm. no, that wasn't for me. But you don't know if you never give it a chance. Exactly. Yeah. You know. Conversely, there's also the incels. Yeah. Who, who you know, if, for those who don't know, incels are their, in, quote, unquote, involuntary celibate. Which basically mm-hmm. just means that it's not their fault that they're not getting laid, which... <laughs> Fucking <laughs> is is the stupidest concept ever to me. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Again, I'm, I, was, I was looking at Rashad. Wow. I, I mean, no offense, no offense, oh, but wait, but, no, okay. but, it, you, but to me, it's a it's a it's a it's a stupid concept because they're just like, well, I'm not going to go out on the dating market because all these women are bitches. Well, look, wait, wait, call me out women, <laughs> women are just women, right? Bitches so so if the woman if the women that you're going out after. Are looking for guys with nice cars. Right. Get a nicer car. Mm. If the women you're going after are looking for guys with muscles, get in the fucking gym. Hey. Hey. You know, like, like now that you know what the rules are, don't right. quit the game. Play the fucking game. Yeah. I think. I think that. I think that I can totally relate to that because to me, for the longest, I was. I'm just doing me at the moment. I'm that's, not looking for none. I mean, I'm not even trying. Fine. I'm just doing me. You know, <laughs> I'm working on me. Don't some, judge me. Self love, but I mean, uh, and that's real though. That really, that's real for people to know that. It's a real thing for me because I, I, I knew that I have flaws. I knew that I needed to work on some certain things. But you're right. It's time to get in there and start, 
Stop making excuses. You know what I mean? Yeah, Chad's already married, bro. Oh, he's, <laughs> Lord. He's already married. He's bro, not bro. coming back. Oh, did the okay. Come, did the come this way? No, bro. Like, I told you, he was a free spirit, bro. I'm about, bro. To, I'm about to call him, bro. You got to listen to the show. <laughs> Respect, Chad. Respect. That's right. <laughs> but, uh, you know what I mean? And, and that's the thing that, um, you know, versus men. Men will see a good woman. We're like, man, what can I do? To attract her, maybe in a and see, see a lot, well, yeah, yeah, but yeah, see, yeah, I mean, people more like, like what can I do to to be in her life and improve it, improve it, yeah. Or you know, some people will be like, man, I'm a good dude, maybe I do have a chance. Mm, wrong. wrong. And then when you get curved, you're just like, man, that, that was. Well, this, I mean, a good guy would be like, hey, I still want to be your friend. A fake guy will, well, fuck, you know, f you. I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, you know, whatever. Yeah. Right. Well. It depends, it depends. I think. I think. I think. It depends a, on the circumstance. Yeah, I think it, a fake it, it, guy will. Would, shit, you know. Yeah. I think a fake guy would try to be friends. Mm. So, 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 you know, he has, he has that step up yeah. where, you know, you know, explain. A, so, a shoulder to cry on becomes a dick to write on, bro. You know. So I may or may <laughs> not. So, uh, you know, uh, let's say a scenario where, where you, you know, approach a woman, you right. know, you think she's a high value woman and stuff like that, mm. and so. You meet her, you kind of vet her out, whatever, and then you, you go ahead and present and be like, hey, look, you know, I think we should date a book, whatever. Right. And then they're like, well, we could be friends. Well, you now have a choice. Mm. You could either accept. accept their friendship and just leave it there. Or if you know that you're unable to be friends with this woman. Uh -huh. Right. Because you know you. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. You know, you know if you're gonna be like, oh yeah, I'll just be friends. But then secretly, every time you, you guys go to, she wants to Netflix. You're like, oh, are we gonna chill after this? No, she's trying to watch Game of Thrones because right. she hadn't seen it. You know what I mean? It's not on Netflix. But HBO, bro. Oh, I'm gonna say same shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. HBO, bro. See, that's that's how that's how that's you good. know that on Netflix and chill. Right. A uh, Hulu and cuddle. No, so, no, bro, no, bro. You you pee, 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 pee and cuddle, bro. You old man. Mm -hmm. What? Or do I or do I Amaz Amazon and jerk off? I don't I know don't what that know. means. Uh, <laughs> it's probably so, not a time. Right. <laughs> no, but but if you if you're a man that knows yourself, right. And hell, even if you're an alpha guy, because alpha guys get curbed too. Mm -hmm. You could be like, you know what? We could be cool, and we could be friends, and we could be cold, cordial, but there there's gonna be that friend line. Mm. We not going to fucking Papa Do's. Yeah, I'm not walking you to your car. We not going to Papa Do's. I may or may not walk to you, walk to you for to your car, and I'm gonna try to fuck your homegirls because we're friends. But, <coughs> that's how I treat my friends. See, that, and that's the thing that I, I said this before too. I'm like, if you're not trying to get with me, help me with your vestie then, homie. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do be that, the bro. homie. Oh, wait, wait. oh no, she's at your league. Yeah. Oh, I, bro, 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 bro. I've actually wait, had. Wait, wait. What did she say? Fuck uh, you, oh, motherfucker. Like you, like you. Oh, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. I get, I have heard that a lot where I'll be like, well, you know, introduce me. And then, no. And uh, no, well, why don't you? And they never give me a reason. No. Yeah. Because they want She the sleeps with everybody. You wouldn't want that. <laughs> <laughs> You're better than I'm, that. I'm You're better than really that. Nice. I'll give a fool. But that's She's what I'm a saying. thought. Like, yeah. she, she'll literally just meet a guy and have sex with him right there. You don't want that. I, that's no, exactly right, right now. now. <laughs> No, but I've had that, and why? Because they need to be yeah. the center of attention. I'm like, True. and I'll let them know, oh, you're not my attention. I'm not yeah. trying to pay attention to you at all. No, no, no more. You know what? Not, not Fuck you, man. motherfucker. <laughs> Bitch. But, you know what I mean? <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. That they, Instead of doing that, help them, you know, like me, I mean, I'll be like, hey, my brother right here, man, uh, great guy, and, I've always, and they'll be like. A hundred percent. Right? I've always tried to introduce. Mm -hmm. He ain't gonna like that big old thing and everything, you know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Well, that's what I'm saying. You know, because if you know that that and that's the that's the thing about like if you are friends, especially guy friends, right? You know what I mean. If I had some like single homegirls, bro, I'd be like, hey, look, my man Tony B, he works IT. I always oh, yeah, job, no doubt. stuff like I that. Always. Why do you call him Tony B? Because it's Tony B, awesome. Yeah. Really? It's like, yeah, he's the most awesomest dude ever. Yeah. So, Next time I talk about Tony, I rub my hands together. I'm like, yo, man, he's part of exactly. A, it's like, part yeah, of an aventura. Oh, yeah. bro. exactly. <laughs> a king of bachata, some would say. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. 
I was like, really? I'm never living that down there. <laughs> never. <laughs> never. Not, not as long as you live, brother. Nah. <laughs> nah. But that's what I'm saying. Living with me loca before that, bro. <laughs> that a lot of people. Okay. She called me Romeo, not Ricky. Hey, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Ricky uh, Ricky wouldn't like the women. But anyway. <laughs> or maybe he likes yeah. the women? Maybe he, he <laughs> I don't know. He might. You never know. <laughs> the irony is. So. Never mind. No, no. What is no, no. Nah, never mind. Go on. Uh, I forgot my whole point. I had a whole point to this. <laughs> Did you know? Yeah, it, it was. Uh, no, nah, he was just trying to get me with the whole. We're on some bullshit. Mm-hmm. We're on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we're always on that bullshit, right? But we on some real shit too. Yeah, real talk, real real talk. But it's, mm-hmm. uh, at the end talk. of the day, man, it's just mm-hmm. you have to be careful who you choose to be with, who you mm-hmm. lay with. Uh, not everybody is on. Mm-hmm. When you get older, you learn that. As right? you, yeah, as you get older, you'll see that because not everybody is on the same subject. Me, if a woman is not. Wanting to do, I'm not gonna say everything I want, everything I do, but uh, on that on that level, mm-hmm. like, hey, I'm trying to build an bro, empire. Bro, Every, is, if she's not trying to improve your life, well, that's the thing though, and not not necessarily. That's not her. Bro, that's not that's not her job. Her job is not that. It's my it, job. It should be. It should be. Uh, no, no. Yeah. It's both of your jobs. Yeah, it's a, yeah, you're yeah. if you're in a couple, you're a team. Yeah, you're, period. You're, there you go. Mm-hmm. You should try to not necessarily change the person. No, but but, I mean, but, you know, but 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 improve, you know, make make them better. And right. I mean, what did you say the other day, Rashad? The other day you said is to to have, not to make a person your focus, but to. Oh yeah, so. Uh, no, 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 no. Like I think I think a woman should be a compliment to your life, no, no, yeah, not no, the no, focus. No, no, no. Me, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? A like lot of people don't know that though. Yeah, and and that's well, the thing. If you're you, if you're a man on your purpose, you're trying to make a dent in the universe. Yeah. And you meet a woman. Right. She should be a compliment to that. Right. You shouldn't stop being on your purpose. Hmm. I mean, you've seen firsthand what happens when, when I've done that. You know what wow. I mean? Yeah. You know, where I've let relationships, you know, stop me from my growth. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I've, you know, just here recently, you right. know, where, you know, I was, I was improving myself. I was on my purpose. I was mm-hmm. on my path. I was growing. But then she stopped, and my growth was outpacing her. Mm-hmm. So I stopped my growth in order to, you know, a lot focus of people do on that. that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think a lot of people do that. Right. Now, with that being said, sure. Do I think a woman should think a man should be a compliment instead of the focus? Right. Sure. I don't know. I'm not a woman. But I know for a man, it works better. Yeah. If she's a compliment to your life, she's added to your life. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's she's a component to your life that is that is that, making it's a, it's a support system. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It supports it, and both of you have to be that for each other. Exactly. And, and if just like you said earlier, you were in a position where you felt like you were exceeding mm-hmm. yeah. faster than she was, if she's not supporting you in your endeavors, why the fuck are you there? Mm. Exactly. And the same goes the other way around. Right, you got to support each other and what it is, what you want to do. Talk things out, mm-hmm. and see pro- weigh the pros and cons on whatever it is both of you or, or one or the other are trying to do. Mm-hmm. And all right, well, I'll support you in it. Right. And you know, but it's like, well, and but if there's not going to be a support, then yeah, that's where things start deteriorating. A hundred percent. Like many and I have had situations where I mean, we're sixteen episodes in. Like we're we're in this. We're doing we're right. doing the show. Right. We've had situations where like, well, I can support you, but I can't support the show. Nah, bitch. Okay. Uh, yeah. But this is this is what I'm doing. This is what we do. This is what I want to do. You know, this is what this is what I yeah. exactly like. You know, this is right now we're we're on the launching pad. Right. Yeah. Of where we're going to build our kingdom from. Like we're building. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. It's only going up from here right. for this. Uh-huh. So I understand if you support me, that's great. Right. But if you can't support this mm. and I'm giving my blood, literally blood, sweat, and tears uh-huh. into this. And this show will take it. This show will You take know what it. I mean? Like, yeah. are you really the one for me? Nope. But you got to be mad enough to say that. A lot of people not. I, a lot of people let that fear that I'm going to be lonely for a long forever or they're willing to settle for less. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You got to be yeah. mad enough to say, like, this is yeah. not for me. Uh-huh. I, I want better. I want more. Yeah. But it's okay to say that. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I mean. See, I've never but, but, but some, but I've been just way too picky my whole life. 
Well, mine's but that's not, a good thing now. Yeah. That's really good. I mean, it can be, but I'm with George on that one. You can be, yeah. It, it can be, but to a certain extent, you know, if you get too picky, bro, you end up. No, it's, it's a pro. It's a pro. No, it's, it, I mean, it's a pro. It's a pro and a con. Because you know what you want. You know what you want to settle. For. You don't exactly. I mean, you're not gonna. I'm not, me personally. I'm not gonna settle for anything less. Oh yeah, yeah. than what you want. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm the same way. I'm the same way. You know, like I would rather be single my whole life than end up in a horrible relationship or the wrong relationship. Yeah, Perfect. a lot of people can admit that. A lot of, a lot of yeah. people can admit that. A lot of motherfuckers can't yeah. admit that, bro. Yep, yep. <laughs> bro, why are you looking at me, oh, sorry, bro? Sorry, bro. Sorry, you're looking at me. Oh, oh, bro. My, my bad, bro. But, again, bro. but again, and that, that, that's going to be a whole nother that's that's gonna a whole be a episode. Whole episode have, we don't talk that, about that. Has, that. See, that also has to do with self-esteem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Self-esteem. Oh, my, oh, no, no, no. But my self-esteem is horrible. But, mm-hmm. I, but I would admit that I would rather be single than to be in the wrong But you say, hold on. I will say this, though, because I've seen it firsthand. You say that. But that's only from looking it from in out. I mean, a lot of I've seen the first time where people when will say that, it. and then they're right into the that position yeah. where it's like, oh shit, you know. When, when usually people never follow their own advice when they're in a situation. Well, it's, it's yeah. actually been proven that it's you people will you know tell other people, but well, when it comes to you, you won't follow your own advice. Uh-huh. But <laughs> yeah, well, I, I follow my own advice. Nah, but, I like my fucking brother. Uh, do you, bro? I do. I do. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I do. Do, do you know? Do you know? I do. do you know? Bro? You mother lovers follow. Do you, do you know? I know for a fact. Yeah, no. We know. So scary. We're not talking about me. I'm talking about you. Bro. I, will, I will say this. What's me that? personally, as I've gotten older, mm-hmm. I mean, I've dished out so much advice that's nauseating. Mm-hmm. That you don't even follow yourself. Or what? When I was younger, I didn't. Mm-hmm. Now I actually have to take a step back and see, take a look, because a lot of situations you have to actually. You have to look at yourself first before yeah, you look yeah, at yeah, yeah. everybody else and look at somebody else. It's like, why is this happening to you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What are you doing that's making this happen to yeah, you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And do you want to still be in this situation? Right. But I, uh, I'm digressing a little bit. Yeah. yeah. What I'm basically, I, basically, what I was trying to say is, actually, now, now I pulled a manny. I lost my train of thought. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what I was basically trying to say is. Bitches I, ain't I, shit. No, I, 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 <laughs> after, you, after you've taken a good hard look at the situation and yourself, like me personally, mm-hmm. like the advice that I've given, uh, and it ranges from, geez, relationships to just, you know, right. bullshit, yeah. what school to go to. I mean, just mm-hmm. I'm just throwing something out right, there. Right, right, right. But I, uh, I've gotten to the point like now, now that I'm in my 40s, I actually is like, okay, I have to take a step back and it's like, all right, if if this were happening to somebody else and not me, what would I tell this person or what would I, you know? Right. Mm-hmm. And then that's where I make my judgment. It's like, okay, this is a situation where I'm going to have to have a conversation with this other person mm-hmm. uh, and see if we can come to a consensus and an understanding. True. And if not, bye. Right. Yeah. Well, Because it ain't working. Finish him. Uh, Facts. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not Shao yeah. Khan or anything, uh, but. My money? Huh? I said, well, guys, this has to come to an end. We ran out of time. Does it, though? I know. We, we, will, do, we, do, we, do. we will do a part two to this, and we will have, you know, Tony B tell us we more. Of, like 10 part twos coming up. I know. Yeah. That's because everything is so good that needs a part two, but this time we'll tell the, the origins of Tony B, how it's got started. That's right. Rubbing Rub the hands. hands together. Rub your hands. Uh, well, anything mm-hmm. you want to say, brother? Um, Tony. Tony B. Awesome. Thank you so much for oh, coming to the show. My pleasure, guys. Thanks for having me. My boy George. My nigga George. Child. Appreciate you. Oh. <laughs> I knew it was coming. So yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So. Fuck it. But yeah, uh, I appreciate you. Appreciate you for coming oh, out. Got you. You, you guys uh, rocked it. I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, so where can we find you, Tony? Oh, do I don't have any social media. I do, but I don't use it. Yeah. So I've gotten into the position where, you know, I'm not into social media anymore personally. Right. Okay. So I've, I'm out of it. Okay. Okay. What, right. what about you? Or do you want to say anything to anybody? Shout out to anybody, a special lady out there somewhere? Not right now. To your kids uh, out there that you don't know about? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> That's right. No child support, fuck that. <laughs> That's right. What about you, George? What's up, bro? What you want? Uh, <laughs> say any yeah. shout outs or any. Any, if you want them to reach you, do you want people to reach you at anywhere? I mean, what I show online on Instagram, bro, you know, Facebook, Jorge Gomez, my nigga. Follow my memes, they're always fire, Manny. Facts. Facts, bro. Facts. Facts. Uh, they fire as fuck, bro. What about Dukes? Thank you so much, man. Love you, 
And that would be it. I mean, thank you guys for coming out. Uh, if you guys want to reach out, reach out us on, on Facebook or Instagram, um, anywhere. TikTok, it's all the same. It's uh, the Cancel Show. And yes. OnlyFans. And, and our OnlyFans. And the oh, Cancel okay. Show. And the OnlyFans, by the way, that is real. So please go check <laughs> now, that out. Now it's real. Yes. Now, it's real. It, now it's real. Please now go check real. that out. But other than that, thank you for listening. Uh, remember, at the end of the day, if you guys are going through something, reach out to somebody. We're here for you. Hit Much love. Up. I got y'all. Peace. Don't be a dick. <laughs> yeah. They say I walk like a king, talk like a king. You can act around now, say the same thing. They chasing the fame, they all want the name. The thing got was running through these veins. Say I walk like a king, talk like a king. You can act around now, say the same thing. They chasing the fame, they got want the name. The thing that was running through these veins Make way for the king